Mic test, mic test, one, two, one, two. Don't mind the morning voice, I just woke up. How we doing, fam? How's it going? Today is an official in collaboration with Honkai Star Rail. Thank you for sponsoring this stream. Please click the link in the description. Uh, we will be doing a watch party stream of the special developer stream that they are going to be hosting on their YouTube channel. Here on this YouTube channel, where they're supposedly going to reveal the official release date. Now, we have like an idea of supposedly when it's going to come out, but we don't know if that was a placeholder date from the App Store. That could not be the date. So, like, just take that with a grain of salt. We'll see today on this stream what it actually is going to be. They're also going to be talking about some of their plans for the future of Honkai Star Rail. And on that note, I'm going to go make a cup of coffee. Y'all know the rules, and so do I. And uh, we'll be back in uh, officially 8 to 10 minutes. I'll see y'all soon. Swordsmanship isn't just about maintaining your skills. You have to put them to the test if you want to learn something new. So, if you're not busy today, want to go a few rounds? Lockwood Cloud Knight Lieutenant Yen Chang, reporting for duty. No matter the opponent, a clash of swords is all I need to get ahead. Strong adversaries make for strong improvements. Sword sheathed.
Keep up. I move at my own tempo. Sound waves like dynamites and signals sky high. Streams of thunder make you lose your mind. Heartbeats will shake me. Mike Tuss, Mike Tuss. How we doing, fam? Good morning. 
Today is a big day. Yo! I am awake and that's rare. Hey, that tells you everything you need to know, right? But under the weather, but I'm here, boss. Hey, I'm sorry under the weather, but welcome to the chat. I know the rules. We start on this next song's drop. Ladies and gentlemen, Dream Team fam, it is with my pleasure to announce an official collaboration. Welcome to an official Honkai Star Rail sponsored stream. Loki Red from Excitement. Thank you for sponsoring this stream. Today is the watch party day of the Honkai Star Wars release date, but it's also the first ever special program live stream by the Star Wars devs. And supposedly, I, this this could be bait. I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. Ignore the hair. I went Super Saiyan this morning. It's, it's a long story. Um, <laughs> This could be bait. Apparently, Dewey is going to be there or something. He's making an announcement or, or maybe. What is that? Listen. What is that hair? Listen. I'm Hispanic and my hair decided to... Bro, do you see this? Look at this. The curls. Bro, I swear some days it's straight. Other days it's super curly. Anyways, point being, the way is supposed to make some super big special attack announcement. Whatever that means. I have no idea. They haven't told me anything. I asked them like a million times. I was like, yo, so any details you can give me? And they were like, yes, the stream is tomorrow. I'm like, well, well yes, I know the stream is tomorrow. But is there any other details that you can give me? And <laughs> Smiley face. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Got you. All right. Well, you know, here we are. <laughs> oh, man. You know, dude, my, my hair is looking like an anime character. I'm not going to lie. It's getting crazy. I, I look, I'll be honest with you. I can't decide if I'm going to keep the white light or if I'm going to kill the white light. My lights reset and I got to redo the whole app configuration thing. So I can't put any color there. But it's really dark without it. But today's a Star Rail stream, and sometimes you know that dark intergalactic space vibe might be the mood. Do we kill do we kill the white light or do we keep it? What are we thinking, fam? What are we thinking? We we what's the move? You think that's the move or that's not the move? I don't know. I like color more, personally. More of a colorful type of guy. You know what I'm saying? That's me, that's me, guys. I'm excited. This is the first ever official special stream for Star Rail. For those that don't know. Like, this is what Hoyoverse does for all of their games to discuss upcoming patch content, the future of their game, um, all that type of stuff. Keep it, try to kill it. You want, okay, hold on. Let me try to kill it, and then let's see how it looks, all right? Hold on. Oh, that hair is motivated. I know, dude, right? Okay, thoughts. Thoughts. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Do we do we kill it or do we keep it? What's the move? What's the How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling? Woo woo. Keep it. Not bad. What are we thinking? Keep it. Keep it. I'll, okay. I can't wait to fix that, man. I can't wait to fix that. I'm not a, I'm not a white light type of guy, but like, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. We will take it. We'll take it. Guys, what are you looking forward to? Listen, now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. All right, I am. I'll tell you why. I'm an honest person. 
I'm a little late sometimes to things, but I try to keep my word as much as possible. Look, um, the one thing I'm scared about on this stream is I pray, I pray with everything I know. Dude, I hope it's smooth. I hope it goes well. That's, that's it. You know, there's like, like, bro, just knock on wood. Knock on wood, man. Yo, cheers. Welcome to the stream, by the way. How y'all doing? What y'all looking forward to? Honka Star Row near this month, hopefully. Dude, I don't mind when they release it. I'm not just saying that because like Hoyo vs. White Knight or whatever. Like you can say that if you want to say that, but don't care. Um, but man, hair is crazy. You are not wrong. But um, I just want the game to be good. I'd much rather the game release in a good state than me have a subpar release. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know it's exciting. I know we're like, yo, yo, release the game now, release the game now. But for me personally, like, release the game when you're ahead. You Wow, sexy hair. Thank you. I think it looks awful. It looks like, I don't know, Goku rolled out of bed or something. It, it's, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> looks pretty bad in my opinion, but, you know, I agree. Yeah, I, I think it's best if, you know, they take their time with it and they release the game when they're ready, you know? Um, another big thing that y'all, y'all need to do. How many people do we got in the chat? Hold on. We got 358 people. Damn, 358. Damn. This early in the morning. Okay, fam. Good work. Um, there is a super important link that if you haven't clicked, clicked it already, click it in the description. It's pinned in the live chat. Just go up. It says Hoyo link. Click that. If you haven't done it already, y'all need to do it. Also, hey. Did you beta test the game? Who, who, in, who in my chat beta tested the game? Who did the final beta test? That's the first two. This last one. Well, we were on the third, right? Who beta tested it? Who beta tested it? I need to know who did it. PMI, Yasha, Sayaka, Mordred, Ganyu, Low Thick. Okay. Fam, if you beta tested this last version, okay? This last version, not the first two, this last version. My community especially, I'm holding you to this, all right? The whole point of beta tests, I, I, I know other people disagree with me, but in my opinion, the whole point of beta tests, all right, is to give feedback to improve the game. If you were lucky enough to play the game, your job, if you accepted that invitation, okay, when it could have gone to another person, is to give feedback to the devs that is your job because we could have had another person like give feedback if you didn't want to that was the whole point of it right so they sent out an email to everyone that did this final beta test with a survey i need y'all to go do that all right pretty please pretty please pretty please okay what do you mean disagree that's the whole point dude you'd be surprised some people are like i just want to play the game i don't want to give feedback i'm like dude I mean, I respect it. I feel you. I want to play the game too. I ain't gonna lie. But like, you like you gotta give feedback if you get invited to a beta. You have to. That's like, bro, gentleman's agreement. You know what I'm saying? Like, like common decency. It is. It is a necessity. Yeah. Why is his hair like this? I woke up. <laughs> I woke up like this. All right. Listen. <laughs> I'm in Super Saiyan this morning. No. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know. I got the email, but no beta invitation. Wait, you got the email? Maybe you got a beta invitation and it was in your your spam mail. Maybe you missed it, possibly, potentially. Potentially, potentially. There's a reason why they sent out like four or five servers. Yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Dude, I am excited, man. You do, you have natural JoJo hair. Hey, let's go. Wait, I'll take that. The, 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 the hair is kind of crazy though. It means my hair is kind of crazy, but like, I'll take that, okay? I got the JoJo hair. Yes. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Along to the live stream, I think we are, correct me if I'm wrong, less than an hour out. It's supposed to be on YouTube and Twitch, but I don't think they specified whether or not it was going to debut on both at the same time. I hope so, because I'd rather not do it on Twitch because of ads, right? But like, you know, it is what it is if we need to do it. Hold on, let me see, let me see. We got what we got. We're about an hour out. I'm gonna be honest with you, I would have started the stream 30 minutes later, but I saw Island start the stream earlier and I thought I was supposed to start the stream earlier. So I was like, hmm. 
I was like, wait, is it early? Like, I'm bad at time conversion. So I was scared. I was like, yo, did I misconvert? Did I misconvert the time for the stream? What if I misconverted the time for the stream? Let me just play out on the save side. I'm glad I did. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did, man. Honestly, got debated a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, you know? YouTube as well. I see it. Wait, it's on YouTube as well. Bless. I see it. I see it. Okay. Oh, by the way, hold on. Super important. Uh, this is an official sponsored stream. I got goodies for y'all. Hold on. I got more. I got more. I got more. I didn't get many, but I am giving away. I, I have some more, but I'm supposed to save it for release date. Not gonna lie. Um, but I did get more acrylics. I know we gave away a few already to the community. Only gonna be giving away one to two on this stream just to like space it out. I wanna have like a good amount to give away both in person when we do like a community meetup. Um, and then also uh, on the release date, like to celebrate and have like a release party of the stream. So only giving one to two. I got a ton of different ones. I got uh, Asta, I got Kafka, I got Himiko. Um, I got I got a few different ones. So if you win, you can choose between the ones I got and I'll let y'all know. Um, but only giving away one to two today. Random person in the chat, you gotta be subscribed. I got a bot that has like a list of all the subscribers on the channel. It's just gonna RNG pick based off of who's on this live stream. Do not feel bad if you're on VOD squad. I promise you. There is going to be VOD Squad goodies for future Star Wars stuff. I promise. I promise. Okay. And the wait won't need to be long. Trust me. I'm planning some cool stuff. Personal. Personal. I'll hold this over to release. That's the goal. That's the goal. Shout out Star Wars for actually sponsoring the stream. And um, shout out Star Wars for bringing the community in. Honestly, I a lot of devs don't do what Star Wars just did. Uh, it's not just me. It's not just Island. There's like a good amount of like the Hoyoverse community that was like asked slash sponsored to do this. And that's awesome. Like, and, and they got a good variety, you know? I heard uh, Murder Birds got a, got a sponsorship, which is awesome. Uh, lore community right there. Island's part of the lore community, lore content creator, right? Uh, that's awesome. That's really, really, really good. Love to see that. Community is going to be the biggest thing about this game that really like helps it grow and be sustainable in the long term. That's what kept uh, the previous Honkai title in good standings, you know, and, and had that have like a healthy relationship with the community. So I'm hoping that's the case. My Bro, I ain't going to lie. My hair keeps going in my eyeball. Huh? <laughs> but I'm hoping that's the case for Star Rail. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Oh, man. Star Wars ends up being released right after this, dude. I don't think I don't think they're gonna do that. That would be not the best timing, to be honest with you. Um, but but that would uh, the amount of whiplash I would have. That'd be crazy. Gotta bounce y'all. Have fun, dude. Waffles have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Get some good rest. Get some good rest. Happy. Wait, is it Thursday? Oh, it's Friday. Bro, I thought it was like. Wednesday, I'm not going to lie. It's Friday. Oh my God. That is scary. That is scary. Uh, for some of you, it might be Saturday, right? I think. Are we all on Friday? Are we all on Friday? It's Friday. It's Friday. At least where I'm at. Where I'm at. I, that, that's, that's, I thought it was Wednesday, dude. I, uh, I'm about, is anyone out of college slash doesn't attend college slash out of high school? Bro, like, maybe it's the whole work from home. I work almost every single day. Um, I, I stopped keeping track of the days. Like, I'm good with dates, like the number, but like the days, bro, it'll be like Saturday. I'm like, oh, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Does anyone else have that issue that's out of school? I feel like school was the only thing that reminded me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, because like once you're out of bro, like I not for retail for retail. I guess a lot of people's Monday through Friday you work. Right. But um, like like for your non retail jobs or some retail where you got to work on weekends, like it, it's a very. I don't know. You stop paying attention to the day. You more so pay attention to the dates more than anything, you know, me, but the opposite. Oh, interesting. 
Which is funny because when I was in school, I didn't pay attention to the date. I only paid attention to the days because I couldn't wait till the weekend. Oh my God. <laughs> you know? Oh man, wait. You can't remember when you were born? Me? I remember when I was born. Wait, what do you mean? Honey? Question mark? Okay, wait. Before the stream comes, I do want to check out some of the trailers for those that are like popping in and like, you know, or like, dude, I, if you somehow haven't seen the trailers, that's, that's impressive. But just in case, that's also an excuse just because I want to rewatch some of them. Um, but besides that, I do want to go on the website and talk about my first impressions after playing all three betas for Star Rail. Because I know I didn't get to stream it too, too much. Part of the reason why I didn't do too many streams, three reasons. One of them is an excuse. The other two is the actual reasons. First one, the excuse. Um, I wanted to not do too many streams of Star Rail because I was scared if I went too crazy on this third beta like I did on the second and the first. Because I streamed a lot of Star Rail on the second and the first beta. Uh, I was scared that, oh, I go crazy on the third beta. It releases and I'm not as, like, fresh. It's not as fresh of an experience for the release, you know? Um, but, but I'll be honest with you, that's an excuse. The, the real reason why... <laughs> is because a lot of y'all submitted a lot of feedback in the Discord and in like a few of you emailed me, which was very interesting. Um, my email box is like completely filled and, and I, gotta, I gotta clear that out because I got a lot of business emails pending. Um, dude, there was a lot of feedback y'all submitted and like shared in the Discord. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I was only able to submit like half of it. Um, it took a while to actually like type everything out and like put it in, but uh yeah i think it was worth it personally that's like the main reason why i didn't stream too too much and then the third reason was i <coughs> I, I played a good amount off camera um <laughs> i wanted to focus on testing the actual game i didn't want to you know have it detract too 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 much uh because i know we did a lot of showcase in in the second beta not so much the first really wanted to make sure that i gave a ton of feedback um so on that note on that note Space comedy, and then I'll give you my first impressions. For those that don't know, one of the biggest reasons why I'm excited for Star Rail is the trash lore. The lore in this game is garbage. It's filled, it's riddled with garbage everywhere. Effing garbage, bro. I'm gonna let you know right now, okay? Trash. That's right, devs. I said it. Your game is riddled with garbage lore, okay? That's right, I said it. Mm-hmm. No, literally, like, they literally have trash cans all throughout the game, and each trash can has its own lore. <laughs> like, I'm being serious, for those that, like, if you weren't there, you missed it, but... This is the other... I'm gonna let this play. This is the other reason why I'm excited for this game. I'm, I'm gonna show you three shots, okay? Here's one. Here's the second, here's the third. Bro, the characters feel like characters. They're, they have so much emotion and expression. Something that a lot of other games, <coughs> sorry, I just cough. Uh, a lot of other games don't have. It's not their fault, you know? They're older. Uh, <laughs> uh, bro, they actually feel feel alive in this game for the most part and like some of them are are main character included a little sassy and i like that not gonna lie not gonna lie Damn. Uh, someone said me and Sample almost have the same hairstyle. No, we do not. Or Sampo. Sampo. Sampo Koski. What? No, we do not, bro. Is it that? Hold on. Sampo Koski. <laughs> Hey, I mean, he gives off Spanish vibes, all right? <laughs> oh, 
man. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I could actually, I see it a little bit, a little bit. It's kind of there. <laughs> I woke up like this. All right, don't listen. Listen, listen, listen. That is funny, bro. It's the Spanish vibes, all right? I don't know. Spanish genetics kicked in. That's all I can say. Okay, Servo's where it's at. Cap does a beaut, but like Servo, woo! Woo! New haircut, I see it's not a haircut. I just woke up. I promise you, this is not a haircut. <laughs> Rolled out of bed, rinsed, got out, dried. That's it. <laughs> no haircut, no haircut, no nothing. No! This was hype in the game. This was hype. I, look, I would just like to say, I am very hyped for Jing Yuan, all right? That's a handsome brother. Like, who designed him? You know? Like, I'm not trying to get into anything, but, like, I'm straight as an arrow, but, like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. I'm just saying. And the game knows it, too, and she knows it, too, because she'd be selling the OnlyFans pictures to everybody in the damn planet, dude. This is how they keep their, uh, their game, their, I was going to say their game. This is Hoyoverse, bro. This is Hoyoverse to us. Let's be real. Let's be real. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Wait, what, what is this? I don't remember this. This is uh, Jing Yuan as hype. Kids have all the fun. I'd like this to my favorite the grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Patience. I think you're in for a surprise. Here we go. Bro, they 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 know exactly what they're doing. To use Walt and Himiko as like the mentor figures in the story. <sighs> I know it's not our Himiko, as you know, but like still, yes. You know what I mean? Um, and she's a coffee enthusiast. I make good coffee. I'm just throwing that out there, you know? Anyways, um, and my boy Walt! Oh! My boy Walt, dude. Bro, I, like, <laughs> I've been wanting playable Walt for so long, you have no idea. Real quick, I do want to say this character is from the previous title in the Honkai Impact series. In case you don't know, good news, okay? Good news, good news, good news. You don't need to play Honkai Impact 3rd, the previous title, in order to be able to enjoy the story in this one. You don't. They're separate titles. They are in the same series. If you play the previous, you will go into Star Rail with bonus context, right? Um, and, and you'll learn more about, like, you know, Welt specifically, and that's it, right? But Walt's the only guy as of right now that could change. But as of right now, he's the only guy that is a character in the game from the previous title. Everyone else are XPs of the Star Rail, like, verse, I guess you could say, you know? Um, but if you do play the previous title, you read some of the source material, you will go in with a better understanding of what to expect in storytelling. In terms of storytelling, I'm not going to lie. They do prefer the visual novel type of storytelling, if that makes sense. They go for a long-term, typically, not always, but typically, a long-term storytelling route for their games. So they, they spend and sacrifice a lot of heavy emotional impact in the beginning, typically, in order to do a ton of world building. And then in the later chapters is when they go like heavy on like the big emotional impact chapters, right? Typically, not always. I will say Star Road did kind of kick off to a pretty quick start, um, which was pretty different. But again, be patient with it. This is a continuously like 
live updating game and they're doing that for the story as well so uh what i do recommend what i do recommend what i do recommend mainly for wealth if you want if you're like a wealth geek you got it to start on you're like damn who is that you know oh he's a grandpa well he can be my grandpa i mean no like i totally get it i get it i, I know someone on twitter <laughs> uh, um that is kind of like that <laughs> you know so i get it totally understand second eruption manga hi3 highly recommend you read that um you don't need to read anti-entropy visual novel but you could if you want to know like his role model and like the context before him it's not a necessity though but you do learn a lot about like his legacy and like why he considers himself a hero right and and, and bro the only thing you need to know about this man is he's a giga chad if there's any one person you can trust it's welt if there's anyone you need to get the job done it's welt okay if there's anyone you need to like like you know what i'm saying heart on the trigger like like bite the bullet for you it's this it's this man all right right here this guy is by far just the biggest clutch dude in the series by far that's all you got to know he is the giga chad of the series he's the goat he's the chaddest of chads you might have another chad more than him totally understandable but in terms of like who has done a ridiculous amount for humanity bro there are very few people that go above this man very few i'm talking like like i can count it on one hand you know so he's a giga chad all right um he's supposedly married supposedly you know you know what i'm saying it's like like supposedly it's like supposedly like you still got a chance <laughs> supposedly you know what i'm saying like supposedly so like it works both ways you know it works both ways. It works both ways. But like, um, I don't see the ring. <laughs> for a surprise. Uh, he's got gloves on, my dude. He's got gloves on. You know, he is Yudina. You know, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm, I'm trying to throw him. Trying to throw people online. I'm trying to throw people online. Uh, don't give them hope. <laughs> hey man, listen, listen. Some people. You know, you know what I'm saying? This could be like far into the future. Who knows? We don't know the deeds, all right? Like, like, well, Joyce has lived a long time. I will say, he's a grandpa. I don't mean like, oh, he's a grandpa. He's like 50, 60 years old. Yeah, no, he 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 is actually um he's really old. Like like yeah, I know he might not look the part, but like like he's he he is old, you know? And and because of his like predicament, he he doesn't really like he kind of ages, but like not really, but kind of um I think it's the stress that's getting to him. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's the only reason why he ages is the stress, but um he, he, his body ages very differently. Um, he's definitely a fossil. Definitely a fossil. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for the game. I can't wait. First impressions playing the beta. Very pumped. Okay. Here are my first impressions. I want to start with the bad. I don't like to do, I, I do this with all my streams. I'm not going to sugarcoat it just because this is sponsored. Thank you, Star Real Team, for sponsoring the stream. It's appreciated. Click the link in the description. It helps a ton, even if you have already. Um, but I like to start with the bad, then we go to the good. Okay. Here's the bad. All right. Bad. First two betas. They went with placeholder UI. UI did not look that great. Wasn't that unique in my opinion. Um, it was solid in some aspects, but for the most part, like they could have... They could have done a lot more, but again, was beta, not final stage. Third beta, huge improvement. Huge improvement, huge improvement, okay? Uh, a lot of it was a lot fresh. It was more unique. Eidolons looked really good. I love the design they went for Eidolons. It looks like you're unlocking memories, kind of, um, of the character with the whole, like, shard showcasing some of their past and, like, different, you know, uh, photo shots. Kids, yeah. Do you think it's a little... Fan servicey. 
they're the the final eidolon of every character they're kind of you know what i'm saying they're not really wearing anything you know they don't they don't like they don't they don't let it fly but like they're not wearing anything you know what i'm saying they let the they let the camera kind of cut like right here you know so i think that was kind of a smart move now <laughs> i don't know if they're gonna keep that but you know i i think uh i i think i think that was a good move i feel like i feel like that's gonna make him some money i don't know <laughs> you know e6 is the plot you know what i'm saying like yeah no e6 is a straight up a reward true um yeah kind of nice i hope they keep that not gonna lie uh that aside it was cool to see that they made a ton of improvements um i would still like to see some graphical improvements in the game I don't think it needs to improve that much. I think it was in a pretty solid spot in this final beta. But there are a few areas that areas that didn't look finished. Uh, specifically, the new world. There were a few spots that you could tell they were still working on it, right? Um, also, big, huge, huge. I'm sure they know this, all right? Optimization. How was optimization in the final beta? Optimization was absolutely fan freaking fantastic in the first three quarters of the beta the first three quarters of the beta optimization was mwah, chef's kiss it was really good coming from a guy that tested the, all three betas first beta not the best but like it still did pretty solid right the second beta it was good but janky the second half of it this last beta bro three quarters immaculate optimization really good stuff the final quarter or or third right of the beta though not optimized there were a lot of areas uh specifically in shan Zhao, yeah that it, i bro my pc is a monster i play genshin at like 4k and and all the holyverse games at like 60 fps max graphics all the all the little filter settings and stuff right dude not that optimized it was still stuttering on a few a uh, few spots but it's a beta most likely could have been an asset leak. Uh, could have been a variety of things. They hadn't, you know, completely finished working on that, which makes sense. It's a beta. It's probably going to get optimized for the full release. I'm just throwing that out there to be realistic, okay? Um, yeah, there, there were a few moments. It wasn't all throughout. It wasn't like, oh my God, I'm like, you know, blinking through everywhere. No, it's just there were stutters every now and then in specific spots in Shan Zhao. Um, but, mo but, dude, CBT3, though, besides the new area... Everything else was pretty damn spot on. It was pretty spotless. It was pretty good. Um, would like to see a slight improvement on certain lighting in certain areas. But besides that, graphics are pretty solid. Gameplay. Want to talk about the gameplay. Gameplay is fantastic. It's really good, in my opinion. I love it, okay? Here's the deal. It's a turn-based game. I know a lot of the community, for whatever weird reason... Very weird. You would think the community of a game that's excited for a turn-based game would understand that it's a turn-based game. But I know a lot of the community does not understand that this is a turn-based game, so it's going to be a lot slower in in speed for the combat in comparison to a lot of Hoyo versus other titles. That totally makes sense. It's a turn-based turn -based game. It's supposed to be strategy. So, so, here is the deal. Here is the deal. I originally did the first two betas of this game right and at first in beta one the gameplay was too simple it was too too simple it was still pretty i was playing it obsessively because i love the game i'm addicted to it right Just pulling that out but it like from a non-biased perspective it was very simple beta two still very simple but they changed a few of the passives and it was a lot more in depth in terms of the abilities and the kits of each uh of all of the characters march 7th in particular uh had a huge improvement in terms of complexity with the counter mechanic, uh, I believe it was called Royal Guard or... I don't remember what it was called, to be honest with you, the ability. But y'all know, it's counter mechanic, really cool. You shield someone. If someone hits the shielded character, uh, March 7th will counter and do damage to him. Really dope. Um, this character, really sick. King... Uh, Ch I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Uh, chat, please teach me. Let me know the pronunciation in chat. This character, dope mechanic, dude. Dope. It literally felt like you were playing a mini game inside of the game in order to get her maximum damage out. You were building up stacks in order to do a ton of damage. She was so freaking cool. She did like, like, and what, isn't she a four star? 
Isn't she like not like like you know what I'm saying? Like she's gonna be easier to get. And she felt really good to play, which felt really nice. Like not it wasn't just the 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 gotcha characters that were good. Some of the basic characters were fantastic, in my opinion. March 7th, for example, uh, is the starter character they give you. I'm pretty sure that's gonna stay in the final release. Bro, amazing character, in my opinion. Just pairs so well with a good healer or a good defender, right? Um but even knowing that the game became more complex with the kits becoming more fleshed out with a few characters, right? And other characters remaining simple. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I still, the first part of the beta, I was still like, there's potential, but like, I'm not seeing that much difficulty or complexity in the game. Like there isn't a lot of layers of mechanics in the game to be like, whoa, this is crazy in depth. Okay. I ate my words. I took an L, all right? I was completely wrong about that assessment, all right? The entire beta, I was like, this is great. It's a simple but engaging combat system. That's the best way to describe it. That's how we described it the entire beta until, no spoilers, until I fought the final boss of the beta. And I ate my words. I took the biggest L. I took the biggest L I ever I, I dude this single fight this one boss fight gave me hope it made me realize oh let me not forget Hoyaverse likes to start simple and then they go complex bro I did this boss fight it completely flipped the script let me explain why okay I am gonna spoil one mechanic just one that's it I start the fight. Boss is on the enemy side. I have my characters, right? I do my setup. I get ready. I do an attack or two. Cool. Coming up with a strategy based off of her element. That way I can take her down pretty quickly, right? Trying to figure out who she's probably going to target so I can shield the proper characters. It's then her turn. And she takes control of one of my characters. Literally, the enemy AI took control of one of my characters and used that character against my own characters on top of the boss having its own attacks and mechanics. Okay, wait, bro, when that happened, I lost my mind. That was, that, dude, the amount of potential, the amount of potential for boss fights and mechanics they have for future battles after they showed that and it was like the second big boss or third big boss in the game right you could argue it's the second but you could also say it's the third uh bro that that was the one moment where like i ate my words i took an l everything else was simple but engaging but that fight oh that fight was cool that fight was pretty dope that fight was pretty dope um the gotcha bad news good news bad news character gotcha could be better I don't know what the rates are going to be in the final, so I don't want to discuss what it was in the beta, but they weren't great, all right? They weren't good, in my opinion. They were okay. They weren't bad, right? I think for the income that we're going to be getting in the game and for the amount of events that they're planning to do, I think it's going to be fine, but it wasn't bad. Or it was bad, but it could be better, you know? Um, weapon gotcha, I think is freaking fantastic, which in this game, it's not weapon. It's a light cone, right? Equipment. The equipment banner. Bro, the equipment banner... Mwah, mwah. beautiful please i know it's the beta and that's subject to change and you might change it please keep it or make it better please please it's actually possible to roll like it's not a scam to <laughs> to go for equipment in this game which feels really good because you know not all games do that um also they do have like a starter banner that was really cool that way you could get easier access to a five-star character of your choice from the standard banner, which I think is awesome. That was freaking fantastic. I hope that stays in the final version. Um, so my final verdict, like, pretty solid. Gotcha, gotcha overall was pretty solid. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't bad because the equipment and the starter banner kind of balances out, like, you know, the character banner for the super high rarity characters. Um, but it wasn't like, oh my God, this is amazing. It's kind of in between. It was like, it's solid. It's pretty good. You know, overall, for longevity's sake. The only reason why I'm okay with that, 
The only reason is because low rarity characters actually feel good to play in this game. They I like there were a few low rarity characters, and again, subject to change, but there were a few low rarity characters that felt freaking amazing to play. Amazing to play. I'm talking like there were a few moments where I actually wanted to replace certain high rarity characters for low rarity characters. Not often, but there were a few moments. There were a few teams where it was more optimal, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, what else was I going to say? What else was I going to say? Optimization, aesthetic, storytelling. Not going to spoil any story. I don't want to go too, too story spoiler heavy. Um, overall, biggest thing, production. The production quality of the story. Immaculate, okay? It is consistently changing styles throughout the storytelling. We go from overhead camera angle shot with three characters in the shot discussing and talking to each other to a 2D storyboard to a cinematic cutscene to back to like a different dynamic angle where like the camera is kind of panning while the characters are moving through a city, right? Back to a simple overhead shot with the three characters or a zoomed in shot that's more like dynamic between two characters, right? It felt great. It never got stale. Storytelling felt really good. There were a few moments that they could have cut out for like fluff's sake, but in Toyverse, they like to really like go really geeky with the storytelling, hence the visual novel, you know, aesthetic that they like to go for uh, with their writing. Bro, the cutscenes are insane. That's all I'm going to say. Like whether you like the story or not, you're probably still going to want to watch the cutscenes because they were, dude, some of the best cutscenes by Toyverse, period. Straight up. Straight up, straight up. Like, like, Ryoken, it was better. I'm gonna be real with you, all right? I'm gonna be honest. It was. But part of the reason why is because it's a more modern game, so they have a newer engine, right? But, dude, it was amazing. It was amazing, it was amazing. Also, expressions of the characters. Fantastic, okay? Uh, main character has voice acting, but is mostly quiet. Good news. And bad news. Let me start bad news. It is mostly quiet throughout the story. Like, there isn't a lot of voice acting, right? It's not like a fully voiced main character. Good news. Char main character actually has personality. And the main character actually says, like, two to three voice lines, like... Every two hours in the story, every three hours in the story, give or take, you know? Uh, which is amazing. It's a lot better than, you know, just a video game deciding to be quiet for, like five patches in a row and having like not a single voice of dialogue from the main character. I don't know what game would want to do something like that, but you know, uh, absolutely fantastic. Also, the, the main character is fully voiced when they're having internal thoughts. So when the character is like, someone says something really dumb or rude and the main MC goes, well, that was rude. Like you'll hear all the inner monologues of the character MC, which is amazing. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, even when the MC is silent, they have an amazing personality. I don't mean they got an amazing personality, you know what I'm saying? No, I, they actually have a pretty cool personality, but I ain't... I'm not gonna lie, you know, look, I just... You know, Japanese main character is voiced by Yui Ishikawa, who's one of my favorite, you know, voice actors out there. Um, and, and, you know, uh... Look, I'm just saying, I don't know what it is. I really don't. I really don't, you know? The female MC is hot. Like, I'm gonna I'm just, I'm gonna just say it. I don't know why, you know? I re like, I don't, bro, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's going female MC. No, I'm, no, I might go male MC. Honestly, I might. But damn, the female does look really good. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and bro, the animations in this game are stellar. Stellar, stellar. Beautiful. Immaculate. Okay. The gameplay of this game, whether you like it or not, is some of the most beautiful animations we have seen in the anime gaming industry. That is not an exaggeration and can be argued to be some of the best animations in turn-based gaming. Period. But whether you like the gameplay or not, you have to admit, the animations for the combat 
is some of the best animations I've seen in turn-based gaming. And I have played turn-based gaming since I was a kid. I grew up on that. It's part of the reason why I'm so excited and nostalgic about this game. Um, the MCs are hot, like smoking hot, okay? I might go the male MC, because I, I I like to play as the male MC, and he reminds me of a character that I really like in another uh, another Hoyoverse, Hoyoverse title. But Yui Ishikawa in the few months is kind of hot, so I don't know. I might go female MC. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm deciding. I'm still kind of split on it. I'm still kind of... I'm, I'm still kind of split on it. I'm still kind of split on it, you know? I, I am. It is, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know? Um, <clears throat> you know, wait, 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 male, whoa, 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 the male MC is the voice actor of Itadori Yuji, one of my favorite characters ever, wait, no way, bro, what, is it really, wait, No shot. Oh my, that's gonna be so hard. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. It's a day. GG. Voice actor. For the Japanese, right? Junya and Oki? Kids have all the fun. I'd like to explore the ship myself. Okay. Uh, Honkai Star <laughs> Rail. Hold on. MC voice actor? Oh, it is. Bro, what? For those that don't know, Yui Ishikawa, the voice actor for the female MC, is Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Bro, I have to choose between Yuji and Mikasa? Oh my lord, that's actually so hard. Dude. Holy sm- Honestly, glad that you do these because I can't stand using Twitter. Bro, it's place I feel you, brother. I do. I, it's, it's, I actually like the platform of Twitch. I do. It's just the ads that kill me. That's it. It's the only thing that, like, it's a friction point. You know? Um, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I really do. Okay, that's hard. So it's been, damn, that is really hard. I actually, ooh, your choice, fam. That is really difficult. Do y'all have any, we got, th we're 30 minutes away before the stream. Do y'all have any questions on the game? How the beta was? Anything you were curious about, you know? Um, is there anything you guys are looking forward to? This is a sponsored stream, so I imagine. Uh, thank you, Starlo Devs, for sponsoring this. I imagine they're probably looking at chat right now. Um, or maybe not right now, but they will in the future, probably. If you're watching right now, Hey, how's it going? Okay, look, hear me out. Okay, so Dway, so I was, I was thinking, right? I don't, I don't know if Dway is watching this. You know, we had a little moment, you know, on the HI three like global anniversary stream. That was pretty cool. But uh, you know, that aside, you know, we've, we've, we, we've, we've had moments, you know, together before. Um, but you know, Dway, if you're watching this, or you know, the Star Rail team, if you're watching this, um, you know, throwing this out there, I, I've been a professional barista for about like five plus years. You know. Uh, was a trainer for staff in three different shops. I ran two shops. Uh, if you ever need like a guy to make some coffee for like a community event, you know what I'm saying? Or if you ever need a coffee boy for a day in exchange for merch, you don't even got to pay. Just give me like a ton of merch in exchange for no pay. You know, I'm just, just kind of throwing that out there. Like, you know, it would have to be a lot of merch, right? But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Maybe hook my community up in the chat too and give them some freebies too while you're at it. Like, I'm just, I'm like, I'll be a coffee boy for the day. I'll make some of the best coffee you've ever had, you know? I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I was, you know, like the way you and me, cup of coffee, you know? Look into each other's eyes, talk about the whole yo verse, you know? I, I don't know. Anyways, that, that aside, um, <clears throat> just throwing that out there in the off chance they're watching this, you know? Uh, thank you guys for, for sponsoring us. It is, it is. Appreciated. How do people like just like get that angle on that right? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Oh man. 
Do you think it's going to be free to play friendly? I've heard the resources are a lot more scarce and relics are a big pain because it's a five piece set. Well, relics I'm not a fan of personally in any system. Um, I will say it's a little bit better because they have something in there to where you can change the main stat of your relic to the main stat of what you want for the relic, which is really good. Here's the deal. You can't choose the substats. So like it creates the perfect relic. Perfect. With the main stat of what you want, but the substats you get from it are random. Right? So um, I am hoping, I am hoping, I am hoping custom relic substats is what we get in the future. You know, it doesn't have to be often, but if we could get that like twice every patch, that way we could build out our a few perfect characters every three patches, dude, that would be amazing. You know, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, yeah. So like, I'm a fan of it, but not a fan of it at the same time. Um, good news. Good news. Anytime it's a relic system, even though I don't like the relic system, the relic system is always going to be much more free to play friendly. That's a fact, not up for debate. Um, does that mean every person will have the best set? No, but a good amount of people can get access to equipment without having to spend a dollar. So I guess that's okay. Um, but it, it, the RNG is what bugs me. You know, I'm not, an, I'm not a fan of, as a gotcha player, I'm not a fan of equipment being RNG. Um, but th there is the benefit that it is free, right? That's pretty cool, I guess. I, I just hope that they make that item that can change the main stat also edit substats as well. In which case, I'll have no complaints of the relic system if they make that an item that drops like twice a patch, you know? That would be sick. That would be dope, that would be dope. Um, in terms of other things about whether it's free to play or not, it is very free to play, but you're not going to get enough resources if they keep it the way it is to get every single character for free. As of right now, you're not. It's not possible. Um, you'll get close, right? But you're not going to be getting every single character on banner unless like... I mean, you could unless your luck is like, you know, just completely cracked out, you know? Uh, which is a possibility, but like on average, you're not going to. Um, the reason why I say it's still very free to play friendly, the, friendly though is because a lot of the lower rarity characters are able to keep up. And I don't mean like they're kind of good. I mean like, no, they're really good. Really good for the lower rarity characters, right? Not all of them. Some of them are like, eh, you can tell there's like, they're the budget version of a, a higher rarity character. Um, but a few of them work amazing in a lot of different comps. So because of that, I still say it's pretty dang free to play friendly. Uh, and the story is like guaranteed gonna be clearable uh, being completely free to play but, like I'm I, I'll eat my words if I'm wrong about that but I've never seen Hoyverse not do that so um, yeah 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 uh, also 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 oh, to, bro MC is cracked honestly MC actually feels good in this game honestly like I tried out 90%. I think the only the only character I haven't tested in Star Rail is Bailu, just because I wasn't lucky enough. Um, bro. MC is actually really good. Actually, really good. And the MC can change uh like its type, if that makes sense. So it's character affinity, which is freaking amazing, dude. Freaking amazing, man. He's actually so good. Or she, depending if you get the thing on. Um it, it, it is so nice, man. So, so nice. Also, uh, there's a really good team where you can do the MC and March 7th, the two free-to-play characters, right? You go, um, is it per Preservation, I believe? MC? The second type you unlock in the story after clearing the first world. Um, you can go both in the same team and it makes it so that, like, you're infinite countering the enemy and still getting really good damage. It's it's really hard to explain. I've showcased it in like past streams. It's really nice. And they're two of the freest characters in the game. Um, yeah, the characters feel really good. Again, that was a beta though. They might reduce that. I hope they don't. I hope they keep them as good, if not make them better. Um, but I, yeah, like in the beta, the lower rarity characters were actually pretty good. 
pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Thanks, Life. Welcome back to the fan for 21 months. It is appreciated. Oh, she mean. Thank you for uh, subscribing. It is appreciated. Sincerely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> By the way, such good heals and carries me through everything. She's like super good for survivability. I wanted to try her out. I heard she's kind of OP for the heals. I heard. By the can revive fallen teammates, by the way, crack killer. That's crazy, dude. That is wild. Holy heck. How much time are we away from? 22 minutes. Y'all got any other questions? Hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, oh, bro, side quests in this game are actually like really good. Like, really good really good there were a few side quests like i was actually like hella invested in like heavily 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 also the the chat system is really cute yes really 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 cute the problem is when the boss you've talked about controls the mc true true very true very true very true nice air stop out with <laughs> Thank you. It's appreciated. I gotta get a haircut. It's necessary. It is necessary. It is necessary. How are the animation and overall from Hydeshin? Dude, animations is immaculate. Immaculate, immaculate. Some of the best animations in, in turn-based, period. Get in from Hoyaverse, period. Literally. Yo, they'll probably showcase it and like show off in the dev stream, I imagine. Um, really, really good stuff. Really, really, really good stuff. Yeah, side quest in this game is actually quite fun, especially with server. Yeah, the, the server one is good. Cool. Definitely didn't take a picture of server as like the, you know, that one quest. You know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Are there other game modes? Bro, oh my God. Okay, there is an event. There is an event I love in this game. There is an event I already like. It's already one of my favorite events I've ever played. Okay, yeah. Fight Club, love that. But if I'm, am I thinking of the right one, guys? Fight Club, that's the one where they give you like the preset teams, right? Of all the fun, right, fam? I'd like to explore this Question mark. myself. Dude, that event is freaking amazing. I like. I ha I didn't play the new one. Well, actually, I tried it out, but like I didn't like go heavy heavy into it. Like I, it was, it felt like kind of like a like a new abyss type of deal. It was alright, but the, the Fight Club. Bro, this event gives me a lot of hope that they can make really cool events for the game. All right. The fact that they, the fact that they came out with this event, I believe it was in beta two and they did it for a little bit in beta three, I think. Um, I got, they, they kind of blur for me, kind of, uh, bro, they give preset teams and they give you unique, uh, like challenges that you have to clear in a certain amount of turns. Such a cool event, bro. Such a cool event. I don't know if they're going to have that, like, for the full release. I hope they do. But, bro, one of the best events ever, man. I love that they give you preset units that you have to use to try to figure out a strategy to be able to clear it, you know? Uh, and it's it's it includes units you don't own, which is really dope. I love when they do that, man. That way you're not feeling bad that you missed out on a character. Like, you're never going to be able to play it, you know? Really nice. Really, 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 really nice. Is there something similar to Abyss? Yes, there is. There is, there is, there is. Uh, Forgotten... Forgotten Hall, I believe. We're 20 minutes away. We are 20 minutes away. Is Yanshin a good character? I could be biased because he's my boy. He, he could have been bad and I would have loved him, right? So I'm a little biased. I understand there's bias when I say this, but... Even from a non-biased perspective, bro, I, I tested out Yanshin extensively extensively in the final beta he he is i think a little too strong in my opinion that dude is cracked out of his mind he is hitting some absurd numbers bro absurd he is a crit monster like you know like he, he's got a passive that is increasing his crit rate. I forgot. I think it's like 15 to 20% or 10%. Something like that. Like for free. And then like increasing his crit damage on top of that. Bro, he is a menace. A menace. It's always the small people. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, that's this guy. That's this guy. He's a five star. He is a five star standard banner. Um, dude, he's one of my favorite characters. He was one of my favorite characters even before he released, but like post release playing him. Oh, dude, I I am literally dropping absurd amount. Why do you think the stream is sponsored? I man. You know what's the deal with like Hoyerverse like sponsoring Star Wars streams? Like I'm I'm grateful. Please continue to sponsor this. But they know what they're doing. They're like, oh, we can sponsor UD. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine to sponsor UD. We're gonna get the money back. <laughs> like for Star Wars, like let's be real. Like we're gonna get the money back. Like yeah, yeah. I throw my sponsorship. Like it's it's gonna. We'll release the- we'll rerun the Yanqing banner, it's a wrap. Like, <laughs> uh, if you're watching this, you know who- like, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, they're not sweating, you know? So like, but thank you. Continue to sponsor these streams and these videos, pretty please. Click the link in the description, guys, so we can get more. And so we can do giveaways, please. Pretty please, pretty please. Um, also, uh, I will say, Biggest reason why we do sponsors on this channel, especially Star Wars sponsors, for Star Wars streams, so we can do giveaways. All right. A good portion of sponsorships actually goes into the giveaway events that we do. Find merch for you guys for when we do community meetups and like we give away during there. I don't know if there's a few, a few people in the chat that can vouch or if you saw the vlog, or we gave away like. Bro, and honestly, Hoyaverse are the homies. Dude, I. Hoyaverse was so cool. With the LA Hoyoverse booth event that I hosted, that I was like, yo, is it cool if like we give away free merch to all the people that participate in the booth events? And they were like, sure. You'll you'll coordinate like how that's given out. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Bro, it's things like that where I'm like, I love this team. The Star Rail team, as someone that has worked with them and discussed with them, there's a lot that I can't say. What I will say, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say this, bro, they are fantastic to work with. They, they are what I'm not just saying this because I'm sponsored. They, and I've, I've critiqued Hoyoverse several times on other streams. Okay. But by far, Star Rail is one of the best teams I've worked with. Hands down. Hoyoverse in general has been very wonderful to work with, you know, but like the Star Rail team is just very community inclusive. And that's something that you can kind of expect just from the Honkai series in general. Yeah, the Honkai team in general has always had that history. Um, but, like, it, it feels so nice. The fact that they're cool with, like, me hosting all the giveaways that I've done. And them supporting that has been one of the best things by far. By far, by far, you know? Yeah, they really said go do your thing. You Honestly, and, and I'm grateful for it. I am. I am, I am, I am. Getting the other five-star characters is just the icing on the cake for me because I love Donna Hank, bro. <laughs> Look, whether you like the game or not, can we admit that, like, who is in charge of the design for, for Star Rail? I, I am... Look. Yeah, I'm sponsored, but, like, I'm, I'm not just saying this. Like, my chat knows I streamed before I was sponsored the beta, and I said the same thing. Why is everyone hot? Why? Bro, the designs in this game for, like, every character is peak. Literally. Literally. The designs are so... Hold on, I'm pulling up the website. Give me a second. I'm not just, like, pulling this out of a very dark place. No, that's not, bro. The designs are peak. Ooh. Ooh. Give me the website song, please. I love this music. Hold on. There it is. I by the way, who invented this soundtrack? Bro, who invented this soundtrack? Who? Who? I need to know. Give him a pay raise. This is going to stick in my head. There are very few soundtracks that like elicit a feeling out of me. Out of, out of pure nostalgia. This is one of the best soundtracks ever made by Hoyaverse. This track. Period. Not up for debate. This one.
ethereal immaculate. I know I'm like a geek for music, but it, dude, so serene. So serene. There's a moment too where it's like dun 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 dun. Immaculate. It's amazing. It's am oh, wait, is Twitch live for the pre-stream? Why is YouTube not live? Ah, I want Twitch, bro. I want Twitch. Hold on. I mean, I want YouTube. Sorry. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Oh my God. Did they sponsor Atsu? Bless. Let's freaking go. Love to see that or he's just streaming it. Regardless, let's go. Okay. Hold on. Honkai Star Rail Official. Such a W, dude. I just want, like, like, as many creators brought into this to support this game. I want this game to succeed. I really do. Like, really, really do. Ah! Ads. You know what's the worst thing is, like, Twitch ads are copyrighted. Isn't that dumb? That's super dumb. Oh, is this the soundtrack? Yes, this is it. The soundtrack, this soundtrack right here. Oh, is that audio a little messed up? Never mind. I kind of. It's on YouTube? Is it on YouTube? Hold on, hold on. I mean, they have one on YouTube. I just don't think they're doing the pre-stream. Have you seen my camera? Uh, you mean the one you're holding in your left hand? Huh? Oh, here it is. Great work, Don Hung. If only I could return the compliment. Star Rail, I am going to practice voice acting all year. Starting in April. I'm dead serious. I really want to voice act for a character in the future. Like, like, a, like a cool, legit gotcha character. Please. Just throwing that out there. I know I probably shouldn't say that, but I really want to. I'm throwing that out there, okay? Get, it might take me a year or two, okay? But like, one day. I, that's the new... Blame my chat, they put it in my head. Blame my chat, they put it in my head. Would love to. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. I, I'm actually going to like you guys put it in my head. I kind of want to now. I'm gonna I'm gonna be practicing a ton. Am I giving an NPC to voice? Bro, I'll start off with an NPC. Gladly. Gladly. But I but the goal is for a character, like a gotcha character, you know? Like, I want to. I want to. If it takes me whoever how long, that's a bucket list goal. I'm gonna I'm gonna start practicing all year. I am. Audio's a little goofy on the Twitch side. Let me make sure it's not my audio. Hold on. I'm muting Twitch. I'm going to play this song. Hold on. My audio's good. It's not me. It could be testing audio in the in the pre-roll. Or it could just be Twitch, to be honest with you. Twitch is sus sometimes, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Where are we at? Eight minutes? Okay. I'm gonna keep Twitch up and YouTube up. That way we know where to go. But in the meantime. In the meantime, in the meantime. Back to what I was saying, bro. The designs. A question. Well, I'm keeping myself overall blind to Star Wars stuff, but I'm just curious. Is Luoka his own person or is he Void Archives as I think he is? He is not Void Archives. He is his own person. As far as what we are aware, if he's not his own person, biggest debate in history because he's pretty good at acting, but pretty confident he's his own person, especially the way they described him on the website description. Not a spoiler. Like, it, it's very apparent. It's different, dude. Very apparent. Very apparent. Very, very apparent. But I've been fooled by this company before, several times. So who knows? I, yeah, I, I, like I don't know. <laughs> I know I don't know, dude. Um, yeah, character designs in this game, dude. Welt, my boy. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going for every hunter there is. Oh, they're missing a few. I think. I think, I think, I think. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Hold on. Uh. Wait, how many pre-registrations are we at? Let me go to website two real quick. Awesome, cool. Website numero dos. Bro, Jing Yuan. Jing Yuan, bro. Jing Yuan. Are we at seven million? About 8 million now? Damn! Wait, really? Oh, we hit the 5 million mark? Let's go! Good work, fam! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's what I like to see. Good moves. What is this? Oh. Dude, designs in this game. Immaculate. Immaculate. Amazing. Like, really, really... Also, these are super... Uh, In-game model, real quick. Hmm. I don't know how they did this, <laughs> but this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Hmm. Like, being able to see the model, this is how the model looks like in-game. Like, that is really dope. They gotta start doing that more often. It started over here. I got debated. It has not started just yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're six minutes away. We're six minutes away. I got, I got scared. I jumped. I jumped. I jumped. I jumped. A bright edge that can cut jade. And the stars Dude. shift within it. A fine sword indeed. Okay. And then... Dude. Adorable. 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 Just saying. Today's Just saying. She's one of the coolest characters in the game. By far. Uh, Low rarity not character. Not not a overtime. like a high rarity gotcha character. I hope she's free. Like given for free the way she was in the beta. We'll see. But dude. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. What is I saw 360. What is that? What? Oh, this is cool. Wait, this is actually showcasing the in game. That is crazy. It looks better when you play it, to be honest. But, like, for a preview, that's pretty sick. Can I... Sp Bro! They got Google Maps mode for the game. That's sick. That's pretty cool. Am I, it looks way better in-game, personally. Personally, personally. But, like, for a preview, that's dope. That is very nice. This is more what it... Actually, I lied. The resolution is kind of compressed, but... Solid. Solid, solid. Okay, are we, are we there? Hold on. We're four minutes away. We're four minutes away, fam. Four minutes away, fam. We are almost there. It looks like it's debuting the same time as Twitch. So I'm going to go with the YouTube one. Just to be, you know... On the safe side. Heard of Space Station. We got Arlen. We got Asta. We got Herda. Got the soundtrack. Bellabog. We got the invincible, undying, immortal, like Giga Chad Gapard. Bro, this dude literally does not die. No. Branya. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sele, you know. By the way, she's insane. Dude, that's my war general right there. I'm letting you know. Bro, she is cracked. I don't know if they're going to keep her cracked in the final release, but bro, Sele is so much fun and addicting. Addictive. Warning. Warning. This character, she will get you addicted to her. I'm dead serious. Not even in a weird way. Her gameplay is so satisfying. So satisfying. It is like ridiculous, honestly. 
if you know, you know. Anyone that's played her can agree. Like, can agree. Her her play style is so much fun, bro. Jing Yuan. Oh, they do got all the characters. Sweet. I think they're missing Blade, but still sweet. Got Yan Ching. Bai Lu. Damn, damn. You know? Like, how many worlds do they have on the site? Do they have, uh... Ooh. I don't remember seeing that black hole there. Interesting. We're here. Two minutes. We're two minutes away, fam. We're two minutes away. Dude, this part was, was pretty beautiful. Let me set up. Let me set up. Let me set up. I, I, I want us to be good. I'm going to close out these tabs. All right. Cool. Close out. Close out. Keep that open. Keep Twitch open just in case on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Close that out. Close that out. Close that out. Awesome. We're 60 seconds away, fam. We're 60 seconds away. We are 60 seconds away. Sixty seconds. I'm gonna have Twitch open in the background just in case, but I I do want to do the YouTube. It's happening. We're like right there, dude. We are right there. Oh, I'm getting a loading symbol. Premiere will begin shortly. Uh, bro, we're I'm so giddy. Oh my lord, dude. Like, we're right there. I'm I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing. Come on. I believe. Check in Twitch. Oh, it started on Twitch. All right, we're doing Twitch. No, another ad. Twitch ads. Por qué? There we go. Oh, we got the little minute thing. That's so annoying. Ah. Copyright everywhere. Oh. Okay. Why is this there? Oh. It's beautiful. Greetings, Trailblazers. What's in the lapayo? 而后穿行于明灭无定的星辰之际见证数不胜数的瑰丽世界Okay. Trailer! Starflung Trailblazers. Welcome to Honkai Star Rail. Disembark into a world teeming with possibilities. Here, you will set out on a perilous journey 
you will listen to the pulse of disparate planets and explore the alcoves of every tale. Your travels okay. will bring hurdles to be mastered as the footprints you leave behind shed light onto strange lands. After the curtain is pulled back, you'll be sure to encounter companions from all walks of life. Rest easy. This is a journey shared. And... Oh, the voice played! Turbulence. Oh, damn! Wow! <laughs> Woo! But fear not. Though the road ahead may be fraught with danger, it is with reliable friends and competent allies that we find the strength to forge ahead. This is the distant horizon before you. Stories that await the power of your choices. May this journey lead us starward. I'm replaying this on YouTube right now. 看到这些广阔的世界，我已经有些按捺不住想要探索的内心了。还在等什么？赶快给各位。Because I don't want these ads here。好的，大伟哥，《崩坏星穹铁道》是一款回合制角色扮演游戏，玩家将扮演开拓者，乘坐星穹列车穿行于宇宙之间，在各个世界中探索、战斗，帮助需要帮助的人结交值得信赖
。那么在冒险的过程当中啊，始终思考着战略和计划，负责拉回放飞自我的三月七，也是一位非常可靠的伙伴。哎，看来是与三月七的性格截然相反的人呢、啊。呃，是的，虽然不同于三月七过往的空白啊。丹恒身上似乎有着一段非常深刻的过去。那么传说中他一直在被什么人追杀着，但是现在却在新城列车上担任智库维护员和生物学家，令人捉摸不透啊！至于他的过去到底发生了什么，就请各位开拓者们亲自了解吧。哎，看来大家都是性格非常鲜明的人呢。呃，大家同行于这场旅途啊，想必也有着共同的信念吧？没错，无名客继承了开拓之心神阿基维利的开拓意志，在不同的星球间穿行。开启一段又一段奇妙的冒险。哎，等一下，等一下，刚才那段话的信息量啊有点多，我一时捋不清楚啊。首先，开拓是什么？呃，这么说吧，宇宙间存在着名为命图的哲学概念，开拓啊正是命图之一。秉持着与命图相同的信念，行走在命图上的人们被称为命图行者。Striders， 他们会从星神那边获取特别的力量。嗯、那么，怀有着共同信念的人们聚集在一起，以自身的信条诠释着星辰的意图，就形成了不同的派系。Damn! 其中啊，开拓星辰的追随者们自称为无名客，在宇宙间践行着开拓的意志。The will of the trailblazers of the universe. 这个星辰在星球铁道的世界中是什么样的存在呢？可以理解为司长命图的神秘高等存在。他拥有巨大的力量，但同时呢，也被自身的命途所束缚着。所以，开拓的星神想必十分热衷于开拓宇宙展开冒险吧？是的，没有错。开拓的星神阿基维利啊，他可以忍受于未知，但却绝对不能屈服于不可知。千年前，他在星海间铺下银轨，让不同的世界彼此相连。无名客搭载阿基维利建造的列车，奔行于被银轨连接的星球之间，展开了一段段扣人心弦的冒险旅程。那么，直到阿基维利意外陨落，连接宇宙的银轨也被污染，星穹列车不得不悄然搁浅。既然星穹列车已经搁浅，那我们在游戏中乘坐的列车是怎么回事呢？哎，这就要说到啊，在阿基维利意外陨落之后，又有一群无名客，他们继承了阿基维利的开拓意志，他们修复了星穹列车，再度开启旅程。嗯、于是，在我们的故事当中，开拓者们就会乘坐着这辆列车。前往各个世界，展开属于自己的开拓之旅。We got a lot to talk about. 激动人心的旅途。是的，就在刚才啊，我们也收到了来自宇宙各处的通信留言。就让我们稍作休息，听听他们都说了什么吧。Right? Oh, you're here. <laughs> well, I told you we'd meet again. Hey everyone, I'm Cheryl Texera, she and I voice Kafka in Honkai Star Rail. Cool. Kafka is a、she、Stellaron hunter、it. who walks on a knife edge, and as the one who awakened the Trailblazer, she is a woman of many mysteries. Now that the Astral Express is about to depart, I look forward to encountering more adventures with all of you. May this journey lead us starward. Come on, stand over here. It's your first photo on the express. Make sure you strike a pose. Hi everyone, I'm Skylar Davenport, and I voice the super adorable March Seventh in Honkai Star Rail. As the Trailblazer's trusty companion, March will accompany you on all kinds of adventures. She can't wait to finally meet you in game. Please take good care of her. May this journey lead us starward. Ah. You're interested in Stellarons? I updated the data bank entries today. If you wanted to look anything up, hi、Ooh. everyone. I'm Nicholas Leung, and I voice Don Hung in Honkai Star Rail. Don Hung is a guard on the Express and a man of few words. As for his mysterious past,、mm. you'll have to discover that for yourself. He's gonna be、game. a hype character, bro. May this journey、oh. lead us starward. I can't wait. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. That is what it means to trailblaze. Here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Chia Court, and I voice Himiko in Honkai Star Rail. As navigator on the Astral Express, Himiko guides the Express crew from one world to the next.、Mm. I'm looking forward to being at the forefront of future adventures with the Trailblazers. May this journey lead us starward. My past? Nothing too out of the ordinary. I was an animator. Hello, everyone. I am Corey Landis, and I voice Welt in、What? Honkai Star Rail. As a senior member of the Astral、Finally、Express crew, Welt is 
reliable and patient with uh, a knack for breaking down complex scientific concepts for fellow passengers. He's a geek. He's also a huge fan of adventure himself. Former professor. I hope you all get along with him. May this journey lead us starward. His voice, bro. Damn. Don't bother me unless it's important. The Astro Express? They finally agreed to let me take it apart and study it? Hey, guys. I voice heard a in Hong Kai Star Rail. As a one-of-a-kind genius, you could say that Herta sees things a little differently to most people. <laughs> I hope everyone <laughs> treats our little puppet girl with kindness. But don't oh. let her intimidate you. Uh -uh. May this journey lead us starward. Oh, Lightning 这里原本只是为了收藏各种奇物而建造的但我似乎看到还有敌人游离在这个空间在内部看来哪怕是科研基地也并不能享受安宁的日常啊没错这些怪物是反物质军团 是毁灭命途的新生在开篇的故事当中我们的开拓者也被星河猎手召唤了这一幕我很有印象就是一位优雅的女士啊边说着该起床了一边把星河塞进我们主角的体内是的这位女士啊就是星河猎手之一的卡
在下城区的冒险当中，主角团将会遇到地火组织的骨干希尔，他呢是一位在地底危险环境中成长起来的少女，性格率真的直接，甚至可以说是有几分粗野在里面。但是啊，他所展现的这些坚硬外壳，就像他手中的武器一样，只是他保护自我的一个工具。他的内心呢，其实还藏着一些非常细腻敏锐的部分，值得赢得希尔信任的人所展露。哎、嗯，要想获得希尔的信任啊，我们的开拓者还得加把劲了。那是啊，而同样需要加把劲的，还有来自于上层区的布罗尼亚。他呢是下一任贝洛伯格的大守护者。Damn, Brian introduced right after us, crazy. 随着主角团一起来到了下层区，还遇见了希尔。That's why. 下一任大守护者与地下反抗组织骨干的碰撞，想一想就觉得很有趣啊。没错，身为大守护者的继承人啊，布罗尼亚从小就被科克利亚灌输了一个理念，就是说要维护贝洛伯格这一方文明的存续的话，就必须牺牲下层人民的福利。但是啊，布罗尼亚对于母亲的这一个教育一直怀抱着怀疑的态度。当他阴差阳错来到下层区，被迫与主角团一起行动之后，又会做出什么样的转变呢？这个也要留给开拓者们在游戏中自行体会。在解决了贝鲁伯格的星河之后啊，星穹列车的下一站就是仙州了吧？没错，我们的下一个世界就叫做仙州罗浮了。嗯，仙州联盟其实是由好几艘仙州构成的银河舰团。罗浮正是其中之一。相信各位开拓者也可以看出来，仙州罗浮是一个国风科幻的世界。在这样一个世界里，我们希望开拓者们能够在游戏中体会到国风的人文气息与未来科技幻想的融合。比方说，我们有在空中飞行的星茶、运送货物的机巧鸟，或者是底层是超级计算机的占卜等等。听说在仙州啊，生活着许多长生的种族啊，能为我们介绍一下吗？可以的。仙州上生活着三大种族：驰名族、狐族和仙州人。哇哦！驰名族长有龙角、龙尾，他们天生拥有名为“云银”的水魔法。凭借这一天赋，他们成为了仙州上生态环境的维护者，同时也是出色的。Oh, 比如，我们可爱的白鹿就是一位驰名族族人。狐族拥有兽耳和狐尾，天生能说会道，反应迅捷，在银河各处负责经营贸易网络。比如说我们的庭云小姐，她执掌着明火商会， oh、God, 可以说是富甲一方。以及还有外观与普通人类没有什么差别，但是寿命却极为悠长的仙州人，其中代表啊，自然是我们的将军景元了。Yes, the boy, you know? 那么他们悠久的寿命啊，又是从何而来的呢？那么这就要提到一段往事了。在古老的神话时代，仙州启航星海其实是为了寻求长生的灵药。最终呢，他们也终于得到了丰饶星神药师的赐福。但是啊，长生的果实为仙州人带来了，除了有极长的寿命之外，还带来了他们意想之外的四海萧条、一树涂炭。直到后来，星夜星神拦截断了剑幕，才断绝了仙州上的丰饶之孽。此后，仙州便受巡猎的指引，建立了联盟，以断绝不死污染为己任。听了这么多仙、啊、州的这个传闻啊，我也想去一探究竟了。听说啊，我们的星穹列车啊，此次是临时变更了目的地，才前往仙州的。啊，是发生了什么事情了吗？是的，主角团其实是了解到仙州罗浮当地爆发了一场星河危机，所以才想要赶去前往提供支援，但是却发现当地的星河危机已经被限制在可控的范围之内了。哦。因为仙州罗浮的云旗将军景元在危机爆发的第一时间啊，就做出了指示，将威胁降到了最低的程度。哎，这也跟他一生信奉的信条“善战者无赫赫之功，善意者无通牌妙手”有关吧、嗯？是的，景元认为啊，虽然妙计翻盘、力挽狂澜能显现出一个人的智谋，但是此时的棋局往往已经是损失惨重。以全局之危来反衬一子妙手，是一者所不取。因此，他总在尝试处下十分功夫。He's gonna be one of my favorites, bro. 正因为需要考虑到的事太过繁杂，景元总是缺乏干劲的懒惰状态出场。因此啊，他也被人们戏称为“将军”。但在关键时刻，景元也会展现出他作为将军的雷霆一面。前面说的这些场景啊，相信之前有关注过我们几次测试的这个开拓者，应该都比较熟悉了。Wait, why did that board look like the Super? You're right. That is the same game. It looked like the same style. That even the same game looked like the same style. 即将登陆的长乐天是我们仙州罗浮上最为著名的旅游景点之一，这个就将与大家见面了。
。我看到这个地方啊，即便是在夜晚也灯火通明，看来是个繁华的大都市啊。是的，没错。Wow. 长乐天聚集着各种各样的市民和商铺， wow. 所以啊，游客们能在街边看到各式各样具有仙州特色的店铺。我看到街边啊有毛笔一样的设施， Hello? 这里应该是跟读书有关的地方吧？大伟哥看得很准啊，这里叫做三鱼书寺。It looks so、在这里呢，你可以买到网络上最流行的小说画本，也能读到仙州联盟恢宏的历史。Oh, 在建瑶轩，你也许有机会卜算出自己的未来。据说啊，那位店老板的卜算结果特别的灵验。Smokes, 除此之外，你还可以在长乐天见识到各种各样的仙州著名。有的人在忙着发明机器人，有的人在忙着沉思哲学命题， yeah, love the modern 还有人在忙着设想十亿仙州人愿意生活在其中的幻境。如果能和他们聊聊，一定会更加了解罗浮这艘天人之舟。我也对那个十亿仙州人愿意生活在其中的幻境很感兴趣啊！到时候一定要去找他聊聊。Emercia. 然后呢，在长乐天远远望去，我们还可以见到远处有一棵非常显眼的 conspicuous giant tree. 这棵树的由来，我们还是要稍微保持一点神秘感。Let's keep that a bit of mystery. Oh, come on, you can't do that to me. 中去体验的嘛。You can't do that to me. Come on. 等待我们的探索啊，心潮不免有些澎湃。那现在让我们休息一下，平复心情啊。在另一段声优老师祝福之后啊，还有更加精彩的内容等着你们。I know exactly what you're doing. There are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of: the troubles of the Sienjo,、mm. the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. Hello, everyone. I'm Alejandro Sai, Alejandro! and I voice Jing Yuan in Hongkai Star Rail. Jing Yuan is the general of the Cloud Knights、you're, on the Sienjo La Fu. While、oh、he、God. may appear suspiciously relaxed for a man of his position,、no、he succeeds in handling all manner of Sienjo affairs without breaking a sweat. You know,、What? I think we could all learn from this guy. <laughs> well, I wish you all a comfortable and elegant journey into the Hongkai Star Rail. May this journey lead us starward. Alejandro. I may not have the whole picture, Shaggy, but I do know we can't sit around waiting to die. Hi everyone, I'm Molly Zhang, and I voice Zila in Hongkai Star Rail. Born and bred、Insanely、in the Bellabog Underworld, Zila is action incarnate, dashing bravely between various crises. Deep down, Zila has a tender and sensitive side to her, so I hope y'all can understand and support her on your journey. May this journey lead us starward. Alejandro, Alejandro. The history of Bellabog can only be written by humanity. Hello, everyone. I am Madeline Ryder, and I voice Branya in Hankai Star Rail.、Oh. As heir to Bellabog's supreme guardian, Branya initially serves as an antagonist to the Astral Express crew. However, once she sees the truth of the world with her own eyes, she is able to wrestle her doubts and resolves to walk a path of her own choosing. May this journey lead us starward. Come、that was for mom, by the way. Mom's、you. watching. Where does it hurt? Love you, mom. I can treat anything. Hi, everyone. I'm Su Ling. Have a good day at work. And I'm always Bai Lu in Hongkai Star Rail. Bai Lu is the Vidyadora Healer Lady of the Shenzhou Lafu. She is a doctor renowned for her medical prowess. I'm excited、so、to see all the other dragons. Her prescriptions can leave folks scratching their heads. Nevertheless, if you find yourself feeling under the weather, Lady Bai Lu is your first point of call. May this journey lead us starward. <laughs> I only called you teacher because、oh, I boy, admire your、see. skill in this area. Don't expect me to start taking it easy on you. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Amber May, and、yeah. I voice Yen Chiang in Hongkai Star Rail. Yen Chiang lives for the sword and was born to wield one. Despite his young age, he's already the most powerful sword master on the Sienjo La Fu. Yet still finds himself searching for ways to improve. I hope that his drive and courage inspire you to、yep. push beyond your limits in Hongkai Star Rail. Japanese voice actors, Marvin, you know it. This journey lead us starward. Also known as Elisa's VIP. Hi, I'm Dao Wei. Welcome back. I'm the Zhu Zi. Welcome to the Xianzhou Luo Fu. It feels like we just introduced it. It is a place that has a very Western feel. Yes. 想到即将可以在这样的世界里冒险，就感觉非常期待了。关于世界观和角色啊，也说的差不多了。那么我们这个游戏啊，到底是怎？
Chinese voice actors Miao Zhang. 那么就这样说吧，《星穹铁道》是一款角色扮演类的游戏，玩家们呢将作为开拓者，在各个箱庭地图中探索。See, but the male MC looks so dope. 当然了，还有大家最喜闻乐见的开宝箱环节。我们呢致力于让开拓者在探索的过程中，可以感受到身临其境的游戏体验，或是漫步于太空之间，或是行走于雪原荒地。或是驻足于玉楼金殿，又或是沉迷在路边的垃圾桶旁挑挑拣拣，哎，怎么感觉好像混进来一个画风不一样的选项啊？那我们呢，在地图中也增加了不少个互动的彩蛋，其中呢，步伐让人印象深刻的内容，并且啊，在探索的过程中，我们也可以看到有敌人分布在地图的不同位置。与他们正面遭遇之后，就会进行作战。也是说要开拓者主动探寻才能够进行战斗吗？那这倒也不一定了。敌人在发现我们之后，也会主动发起攻击啊。若是被敌人攻击而进入战斗，会导致我方角色进入战行动延后。Every trash can has lore in this game. 追杀我八条街了，应该怎么怎么应对呢？我比较推荐的是回头与敌人正面相对，甚至主动出击。这样可以在战斗中获得。Every trash can has lore in this game. Not even kidding. 至少可以死得比较有尊严。呃，开玩笑的。与敌人正面相对之后啊，便进入了我们的回合制战斗玩法了。进入战斗之后，双方按照顺序依次行动。角色可以通过释放普攻、战技和终结技，以及自动触发的天赋技能，与敌人进行战斗。通常情况下，普攻在造成伤害的同时，还能为团队恢复战绩点。这个战绩点是做什么用的呀？战绩呢？它的释放通常就要需要消耗战绩点了。那战绩也是我们比较有特色的角色和技能。比如说机子的战绩就能对多名敌人造成伤害。当然了，也有不消耗战绩点的战绩。比如说阿兰的战绩就是通过消耗他的生命值来换取更高的伤害。Such a dope concept. Blade does the same thing, which is really cool. 接下来是不是就该介绍终结技了？是的，没错。角色释放技能或者受到攻击时，就会获取一定的能量值。那么，当能量值积攒完成之后，就可以释放终结技了。在大部分的时候，终结技能够直接插入到当前的回合释放，是角色最核心与强力的技能。当然了，与强大的效果相匹配的，还有我们游戏中最华丽的演出。确实是很帅气的动画呢。那除此之外啊，我们还有什么方式能让我们在战斗中取得优势呢？那自然也是有的呀，在进入战斗之前，在探索过程中，我们可以使用角色的秘技进行辅助。例如说，希尔的秘技可以使他进入隐身状态不被发现；又例如，瓦尔特的秘技可以释放特殊的区域来降低敌人的移动速度。Bro, what's so good in this game? 选择主动出击啊，可以避免被动进入战斗后导致我方角色行动延后。另外，在遭遇棘手的敌人之前，也可以尽可能的使用角色的秘技来提高胜算。懂，等我加完 buff 再去揍他，对吧？<笑>是的。另外，也可以根据敌人头上的弱点属性，选择相同属性的角色进行进入战斗。在开局时，削减拥有该属性弱点的敌人的韧性。也就是说，尽量选用敌人弱点属性对应的角色出手，对吧？这个韧性又是什么样的机制呢？呃，这个韧性简单来说，嗯，我们这边解释。敌人头上的属性图标啊，先是他的弱点属性。那么在进入战斗之后呢，敌人的生命条上面还有一条白色的韧性条。当敌人受到弱点属性对应的伤害的时候，他这个韧性条就会相应的减少。当韧性条削减至零之后，就会对敌人造成伤害。同时啊，根据不同的属性产生不同的效果。例如说，火属性的就是灼烧效果，或者冰属性的是冻结效果等等。目前啊，游戏中一共有七种属性，更多玩法和搭配，就还请开拓者们在游戏中自行探索了。你刚才提到了这个依次行动啊，那这些角色的行动顺序是怎么排序的 ？This is pretty sick. 那在游戏当中呢，我们角色的行动是由速度决定。Either speed. 速度越快，每次行动的间隔就越短。But it's not about who has a higher speed number. A little more complex than that. 的左上角啊，显示了我们的行动条，里面的头像从上往下依次显示了各单位的行动顺序。既然有行动条啊，那这里有没有那种现在是我的回合，我行动，然后还是我的回合？你的回合也是我的回合，这样的玩法。
看来大伟哥对这个回合制的机制也相当了解啊。哎，那么希尔这个角色就正好能够符合大伟哥的期待。She's going for like three turns in a row. She's crying. 击败敌方目标之后，让他再次行动。只要把握好释放终结技的时机，就可以实现连续的打击。那么这呢，也是寻猎命途角色的一个特征。他们拥有非凡的单体攻击能力，是闪电战的主要输出力量。这个命途啊，是不是可以理解为类似？大家 ，thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the super. 大伟哥，这个理解非常贴切、啊。Happy weekend, Happy weekend. 那么游戏中每个角色至少都拥有一种命途。Or welcome back to the fan for seventeen. My bad, my bad. 种类总共有七种，每种命途都有其对应的特征。Seven obtainable paths. 这么说来，也一定有擅长对群的命途，对吧？当然有。那么行于制时命途的角色就拥有出色的群体攻击能力了，在适当时机发动攻击，就可以一举扭转战局。嗯、我们刚刚提到的云骑将军景元就是制时命途的角色， yeah, 那么他的战绩和终结技都是可以对多名敌人造成伤害。在战场上，他还有被称为神君的金色威灵协同作战， yeah, 神君也可以对多名敌人造成伤害的。看来这个命途的角色啊，将会是面对多名敌人的好帮手呢。还有其他的命途可以介绍一下吗？那么接下来我们介绍的就是毁灭命途了。行于毁灭命途的角色以正面攻击建长，在单兵作战时即可发挥强大的战斗力。那么我们以克拉拉为例啊，虽然他看上去非常的柔弱，但是任何胆敢伤害克拉拉的敌人都将会受到史瓦罗先生的可怕反击。看来在实战过程中啊，要尽可能将敌人的攻击吸引到克拉拉身上，才能实现输出的最大化。Yeah, her counter mechanics. 很好，我就知道有人为了输出，什么事情都做得出来了。所幸啊，在受到攻击时，史瓦罗先生会出现保护克拉拉。嗯，在终结技的强化下，只要我方任意角色受到攻击，都可以触发史瓦罗先生的反击。看来的确是很符合毁灭这一命途的角色呢。但我总归是不忍心看到美少女遇到危险的。有没有能够保护同伴的命途呢？那这就要说到我们存护命途了。这个命途的角色呢，就是打打打打打通过不同的方式守护同伴，就能坚守阵线。举个例子来说，作为银宗铁卫的数位官啊，杰帕德无疑是最坚信者。The undying guard， 他作为同伴的攻击，也可以为全队提供护盾加成，筑起一道坚固的防线。要想赢得胜利啊，光靠防御肯定是不够的。那么必然有人要担任辅助的角色呢？当然是的。He's insane, dude. Literally doesn't die. 施加增益效果。The unyielding will. 比如 Bronya 的战绩可以解除我方一名角色的负面效果，提高其伤害，并使这名角色立即在战斗中能够更灵活的调整作战方式。She's so crack. She's one of the best characters in the game. 全员的攻击力和暴击伤害，在向敌人发动强大的攻击前，不妨先鼓舞士气，或许就能事半功倍。与提高己方战力的同鞋相对的，也有削弱敌方战斗力的角色嘛。那这就是虚无命途的特征了。以瓦尔特为例啊，他的部分技能能够使敌人陷入禁锢状态，延缓敌人的行动，降低敌人的速度，从而在战斗中获取优势。这是最后一个命途终了。这是最后一个命途终了。听名字就觉得是常见的那种必不可少的资料角色。没错的，白鹿啊，他就是一名资料角色。The only character I didn't try in the beta. 均可以为队友提供治疗。还可以使我方陷入无法战斗状态的角色重新加入战斗。那我们有没有什么办法给自己获得的角色提高战斗力啊？当然有的，我们还可以通过给角色装备光追，让他们的战斗力得到提升。光追就是画面上这些被定格住的瞬间吗？是的，没错。光追的外观啊，是被封装在光之切片中的凝固事项。它呢，是游戏中来自流光逸停的。Garden of Recollection。通过提炼记忆的片段进行光追。可以在留存记忆的同时，也能保存经验和力量，在战斗中提供助力。也就是说，其实这些光追啊，都是角色过去故事记忆的具象化展现吗？的确啊，看着这些光追啊，感觉可以脑补出好多故事啊。没错的。那么这些光追到底讲了什么故事？就请各位开拓者们自行在游戏中了解吧。那么看来啊，我们的游戏玩法还是很丰富的。那么这些角色和光追要如何获取呢？在游戏之中。完成特定的任务和活动就可以获得。Yeah, these light cones, bro. The art and the light cones are nice. 另外，开拓者在游戏中还可以使用星轨通票或者星轨专票进行跃迁，获得角色和光追。星轨通票适用于常驻跃迁。
如群星跃迁和始发跃迁。Please have the same like starter banner you had in the beta, please. 新贵专票啊，适用于活动期间。The banner was so cool. 跃迁，那么在一点零版本的前段，可以分别在角色跃迁和光追跃迁中获取限定五星角色希尔及限定五星光追于夜色中。在一点零版本的后段，可以分别在角色跃迁和光追跃迁中获取限定五星角色警员以及限定五星光追之前。获得这些强力的伙伴之后，普通的战斗已经无法满足我了。游戏里有没有什么特别的战斗关卡呢？那既然大家都已经掌握了战斗的基本玩法，不妨来试试更高难度的忘却之谜吧。从列车上一面破碎的奇异镜子当中，还有者结交了一位神秘的新朋友，与列车同行却极少现身的来自流光一族的信使。在他的提议下，开拓者将协助他打捞各个世界即将消失的回忆，以过去的碎片拼出未来的蓝图。嗯，那这个忘却之庭有什么特别的地方呢？忘却之庭啊，是一系列有轮限制的难度较高的关卡。若挑战时超过这个轮的限制，则视为挑战失败。那么，在指定的战斗轮次内通关，并且达成特定条件之后，还可以获取额外的奖励。要在规定的行动次数内变着花样击败敌人，听上去确实很有难度啊、嗯。呃，这也不用担心了，在部分关卡内啊，轮的更新时还会触发一些特殊的效果，给战斗带来更多变的环境。合理安排策略，并利用好对应的机制。Yeah, you gotta clear fast. Yep. 那么忘却之庭也分为回忆和混沌回忆两个部分，其中回忆的关卡会随着探索进程逐步解锁，混沌回忆呢，则是难度更高的关卡，会周期性更新关卡内容与奖励。首次通关忘却之庭的特定关卡，还能够获得四星角色清雀作为奖励。Oh, she's so good. Bless. Such a good unit. Unless they change her, which they might, but she was amazing in the beta. Bless. W. 那么为了解开心神的奥秘啊，黑塔邀请你去测试她的模拟宇宙。Is she free too? Please tell me she's free. She's such a good unit. 面对面对话。Please. 开拓者呢将扮演开拓心神阿基维利，把其他远古心神的秘闻八卦给。Oh, the worlds have a new UI. 在测试过程中。开拓者将获得不同地图带来的奖励，遇到随机事件与特殊奇物，强化自己的队伍去应对更强大的敌人。哇，也就是类似的那样的玩法，通过尝试不同的阵容和搭配，在随机出现的地图内挑战强化后的敌人，对吗？是的，首次通关魔女宇宙的指定世界就可以获得新角色的奖励。That simulated universe is the best. It's way better. It's like rogue-like mode. Essentially, 完成魔女宇宙可以获得积分兑换奖励。积分奖励每周都会刷新。Point rewards refresh weekly, so it's going to be permanent too. Heck yeah. 挺好的。实不相瞒啊，我之前参加我们测试的时候就被那个转圈圈给给洗脑了。哎，还有没有什么别的活动呢？ Dude, bless. It looks like Curtis free. Yeah. 版本后半部分当中，盘岩镇超级联赛全新赛季将会拉开帷幕啊。Okay. 搏击俱乐部老板史考特向贝洛伯格下层区全体发出了参赛邀请，而开拓者自然并不例外。选手们将参与到五大赛事当中，赢取积分，提升名次，最终斩获史考特商业联盟为冠军准备的豪华奖励。听到豪华奖励啊，那我肯定要报名了。能不能给大家介绍一下这次联赛的规则啊？开拓者呢可以通过挑战不同的赛事以赢取对应的赛事奖励。Dude, this was so sick. 选择参加赛事之后，开拓者将会以随机抽选的方式确定对手的阵容，将其击败后可以获得不同的奖励。Oh, that's so cool. 此外啊。我们还为超级联赛开启了现实活动，在活动期间完成现实挑战，还可以获取现实的额外奖励。哎，说到奖励啊，公测这么重要的历史，是不是该给各位开拓者意思意思？我懂，我懂。在一点零版本中，开拓者只需要每日登录游戏，签到满七天就可以获得共计十张新鬼。Go， 我觉得对于公测来说啊，一次十连抽的奖励好像有点。那么，为了感谢各位开拓者的关注与支持啊，在公测之前，只要预约数和设备够数，达到了指定的目标，就可以获得丰厚的奖励。其中包括了四星角色希罗和总计二十张新的奖励。此外呢，我们还开设了拓宇形象的活动，只要开拓者达到对应的开拓等级，就可以在活动面板里领取到四十张新鬼通票和一千六百星球，相当于总计五十抽的奖励啊。
Wait, that's so nice. Actually, 开拓者们还可以使用新轨通票参与始发跃迁。始发跃迁呢，只能进行十连跃迁，但是啊，其消耗的新轨通票享受八折优惠。最多可以参加。Wait, so we get a guaranteed five star. 而且在这五十次跃迁内呢，必定能够获取一个或以上的五星角色。也就是说，最多消耗四十张新鬼通票，也必定能获取五星角色，帮助各位开拓者们快速打架队伍的基石。在正式踏上列车的冒险之前啊，列车组还为大家准备了实用的物资。W's. 崩坏星穹铁道群星邀约网页活动现已上线。活动期间。开拓者在本页面完成相关任务，可以获得跃迁次数，提前抽取最高四星的光追仪器、角色经验和光追经验等有限的道具。此外呢，大家可以在活动中进行 DIY 车票，获取专属的座位号，参与工作后的实物抽奖活动哦。同时，官方超话也开启了寻找星穹列车车友活动，快来崩坏星穹铁道超话社区，分享你的车票和座位号，让我们一起开拓者们！快来崩坏星穹铁道超话社区，分享你的车票和座位号，寻找你的同车小伙伴吧！哎，这个活动我知道，我也参与了，刚刚 DIY 好一张车票。大伟哥在车票上选的是机子啊，是的，所有我的小伙伴都知道，我一直都很喜欢机子。我的座位号是五零五二车厢二十三排 C 座，<笑>各位开拓者也可以去参加活动，看是不是和我坐同一节车厢。那等一下我也去 DIY 一张看看。介绍了这么多奖励啊，已经让我有些迫不及待，想要快进到公测的那一天了。我知道大卫哥你很急，但是啊，也先别急。在游戏之外呢，我们也为开拓者准备了特别的内容。在构建仙州罗夫的过程中啊，我们希望将瑰丽的国风文化与科学技术相融合，带给大家独特的视觉体验。所以才有了以徽派建筑为基础、以建团为概念的仙州世界。Huge. 同时啊，我们也想借助这些设备，在公测期间与世界自然文化遗产、Arrow、Arrow Events, 安徽红村、西地景区、Global, 开展星球印象馆等趣味活动。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。Like、event, in, like、Homeland, 欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感受徽派建筑的魅力。欢迎各位开拓者们来这里感开拓者将来往于迥异的兄弟世界，他们有着完全不同的地形地貌、风土人情。而 h o y o Mix 呢，为其精心制作了一系列风格基底也完全不同的音乐，让这些音乐在整个游戏里保持独特与协调。Oh, okay. 协调这些音乐背后的创作故事啊，都将在《遥远星球之歌》系列短片中与大家见面。<笑> I'm gonna be honest. 我们还将推出一档《The Survival of the Kind of Distracted》，趣味科普栏目，更会邀请诺贝尔奖得主、中科院研究员、专业科普达人等作为嘉宾，用轻松愉快的形式带领大家一同徜徉在宇宙群星之间。Are y'all for sure? I was distracted by Survival. I'm gonna be real with you. 另外啊，我们还有一件很重要的事情要向大家宣布。The placeholder was right. Let's go. 星穹铁道 PlayStation 版本的制作，呃，不久后啊，崩坏星穹铁道即将正式登陆 PlayStation 平台。PlayStation Store Real. 
Okay. Like gambling, you have to choose when to strike. The way is a whale, got it. Okay, he summons ads. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. W's. Her gameplay is amazing. She's free, by the way. Four star unit. Fantastic. <laughs> Time for the Jing Yuan's gonna be limited banner phase two. Radiant spirit. Heed my word. Show so no mercy. Look at the wrong. Oh, wait, attacks. Second phase. Okay, bot. Okay, cool. They're consistent with two phases. Different type of tree. Win three, win. Different ads. Crude fruits. Huh? Bearing fruit. Peaches. I am kind of hungry. Start counting. Don't need this style. Whoa, 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 whoa. Finish with my boy Yan Ching. Yeah. Look at the animations, man. It looks so much better in game. Like, like, like the lighting here looks better, but the, it's crisper, you know? Because YouTube compresses. Oh. Yeah。在等待启程的这段时间里，你们的期待给了我们莫大的鼓舞，也让我们更加坚定了我们要细心打磨游戏的内容，为你们献上一场更好的旅途。嗯，现在旅途的准备也已经就绪，列车也将会根
Gorilla 6 had both the overworld and the underworld. So it's nice to see there's a second area. But here is what I wanted to talk about the most. I was worried this was only for the beta, but it looks like it's not. Was it ahead? Or was it behind? Okay, so they're doing 10 rolls for the limited banner for free right out the gate, right? And then the way kind of mocks us. I say that in a, in a joking manner, by the way. Afro, welcome back for 17 months. He, he said, isn't 10 rolls like super little in the most like, like, you know, sarcastic voice ever. So we get 18 rolls, right? For the pre-registration rewards. But then they showed over here. For Trailblazing Will, you can get up to, after you get to Trailblaze level 35, right, up to 40 wishes. And if I'm not mistaken, this mission is separate from this, if I'm not mistaken. So technically speaking, technically speaking, we should be seeing about, right, about, about. Twitter says up to 80. Wait, did they post like the full amount on Twitter? Hold on, they actually posted a few. They, they've been posting a bit on Twitter while the stream was going out. Afro, thank you for the gifted membership. Vincent, thanks for becoming a member for nine months. Hold on, we got a lot to talk about. Uno segundo. 80 pulls on release. Dude, that's crazy. Well, I mean, hold on. I want to see what's on the rewards though. That could be like chess too. Give me a second. So it's 18. For pre-registration. It's 40 from leveling up, right? So that's 58. And then there's the starter banner, which has a guaranteed five star in 50 rolls, right? Which is super nice. What I didn't see is if we had the choice thing still there. They didn't talk about that, and that worries me. We'll, we'll have to see if that's there. Hopefully it is, but that could have been like a beta only thing. But I'm so glad Departure Warp is here. This is very nice for two reasons. One, it's 20% off for 10 warps, right? So even though it's guaranteed within 50 warps, technically speaking, each multi-roll is only eight rolls because of the 20% off, right? So technically... It's actually only 40 rolls if you're not dumb and you just wait till you can do a multi instead of a single because it's going to hit that 50 mark, if that makes sense, you know? So technically, it's 40, but they have, for like legal reasons, they have to say it's 50 if you decide to do singles. Don't do singles on this banner. Super important that you don't, right? Uh, guaranteed five star. This is nice. This is very nice because that means thanks to this, and it also means, thanks to this, we're already getting 58 on the standard banner rolls right when you go in and you get to level 35, Trailblaze level 35, right? On top of in-game currency, the 10 wishes for the limited banner they're going to give you, and events that we're going to get in the future that you can use to decide which banner you want to roll on, right? So right out the gate, you're going to be able to get into the game and get one five-star. Very nice. That's good. That's good. That's good. I just really hope we have that one like standard banner thing. It wasn't on departure. It was on the regular standard banner wish. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. They didn't talk about it, which is a little worrisome, but we'll see. They also didn't talk about like rates and everything. So that might be the reason why. Um, curious to see if it's the same as the beta. It probably is, but we'll see overall. I saw some people that were new coming into the chat wondering if the game was free to play friendly. It is free to play friendly. But you're not going to be able to get every single limited banner just playing free to play unless you're insanely cracked with the lock, right? The reason why I say it's free to play friendly is because some of the four star units in beta, subject to change, that doesn't mean it's going to be the same in full release, but in beta, some of the four star units were really, not like, oh, they're, I guess they're good because four star. No, 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 no. They were really, really, really good. So. Because of that, I say it's going to be very free to play friendly. Also, because there's a lot of signature weapons you can grind for in the game. Um, and also, they're including a ton of light cones as like part of the multi-wishes and most of the banners. Now, relics. 
Relic system, not a fan, personally. Just in general, don't like RNG equipment, right? Grinding for that. It's a pain in the butt because RNG can be really good or really bad, right? Here's the deal. Star Rail is better because they have something in their battle pass. And it's for, I don't know if this will change in full release. It was available for everyone. There is a free battle pass and a paid battle pass. In the free battle pass, as well as the paid, at level 40, you unlocked an item, forgot what it was called, that allowed you to create a relic, four star or five star, I believe. And you can choose the main stat. As far as I'm aware, you weren't able to choose the substat. I hope that changes for full release and we can choose the substats and the main stat. Probably not. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I really hope so. I'm gonna let them know. Fingers crossed would be really nice, but we'll see. That is better. I will say that is better. The substats are RNG. And the main set you can choose, but that is better than nothing, you know? Because I've gone months in, like, similar systems. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Where, like, I can't even get the main set of, like, a circlet or something, you know? Um, so, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. We shall see. At least it is April 26th. Free download, I believe, is April 6th or April 2nd. I believe it's April 6th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Uh, I would warp one month ahead, but I'm out of tickets. Real note, I've always had a soft spot for classical RPGs, so I'm really looking forward to how Hoyo does this game. Good luck in advance. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I am, I am. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This event was pretty dope. This event was really, really, really cool. There's another Fight Club event that I'm really excited for where I gave you, like, preset teams that you could use even for units you didn't unlock. I hope they keep that. Um, but that could have been for, like, beta testing purposes. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Um, April 26th. April 26th for the release. Yes, yes, yes. Do the ticket event. Follow the QR code. It's free pools. Yes. That, hold on. Let me pull that up, actually. Because I actually messed up for myself. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 23rd is pre-installed. 23rd is pre-installed. Yeah, 26th is full release. Where is... Also, also, whoever decided to make the world UI better. Thank you. It's, this looks nice. This looks nice. And they also made, like, the buffs look a lot better, too. UI actually looks pretty dope. For those that don't know, Simulated Universe is going to be a game mode on release. Looks like it's going to be permanent, just like it was in the beta. This is not the Abyss counterpart. This is something completely different. It is a roguelike mode with new worlds that they are adding on the fly. Increases in difficulty, you will get RNG buffs which eat with each room that you clear. And the goal is to get a certain set of buffs. That way you're prepared for a certain boss fight. It's so, dude, this mode is peak. This mode is peak. It is one of my favorite top two things in terms of gameplay of Star Rail. It makes the gameplay feel fresh because you're able to change up the play style for certain units. So for example, you could go for a permafreeze team with a lot of ice on your team, right? Uh, go with like an AOE, your addition type of comp, which is like, you know, AOE, buffs, debuffs, whatever. And then you can choose a counteracting buff system. So you could go for a speed play style, a debuff play style, uh, a slowdown play style with the RNG buffs that you get in the roguelike mode. That way you're essentially having like one T comp, team comp, but like a ton of support effects that changes how that team comp plays. And you can switch it up every time you go in, which is really dope. I, it's hard to explain without showcasing. I streamed it a bit. Trust me when I say you're going to love it. I feel like if you like turn-based games and you like roguelike modes. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Other stuff we got to talk about. Let me pull up the code. For the tickets. I think there's a head. Hold on. It's when uh, Dewey was simping for Himiko. Apparently, he's a huge Himiko simp. He said I fancied her heavily. Be right around. Right here. Okay, that's the QR code. Feel free to screenshot, scan. I'm going to take a picture because I want to take a picture. Awesome, cool. 
I'm, I'm I'm just taking a picture of the art for uh to make sure the quality stays the same before release. No no other reason why. Um, <clears throat> you know, no other reason. There's a video of Dwayne Himeko in wedding clothes. I'm like, no way. Wait for real or like like fan meme made. Wait, is it like a real thing? Question mark. Huh? Is that legit? 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 And then if you're just coming in, uh, for release is April 26th. I, I really want to go to an event like this in a homeland. Hopefully. One day. I want to visit. I would love to go to Shanghai. That's like a goal of mine. One day. Like visit like Hoyo HQ. That'd be so dope. That'd be really cool. This was... This right here was the biggest announcement for the game. Honkai Star Rail is coming soon to PlayStation. Effing huge, okay? This, you are now including an entire demographic of players that can only play on console because their phones can't keep up or because they're still trying to save for a PC or they just can't get a PC. For a lot of people, depending on where you are, sometimes a console is easier to get than even like a gaming phone. It just depends what region you're from. Uh, currencies get very complex depending on the region. This is huge. This is huge. This is freaking ginormous. Love to see they're making new bosses with new mechanics. They didn't showcase the entire fight, but they did showcase the majority of the mechanics. Multiple phases. You love to see that. They showcased that in a few previous boss fights that I'm not going to go too, too heavy into in the beta. Super excited. Cannot wait. Uh, hold on. Where is... Now nah, I'm going to geek out for a second. Alejandro, Alejandro. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I have a friend named Alejandro. I like to meme with him, so... Sorry. Um, yeah, bro, don't, ever, don't send that to him because I know for a fact it's probably going to like not make him happy. Anyways... Kagi, dude, also known as Sayu is the voice actor of Jing Yuan, bro, dude, the troubles of the Cienjo. dude, do not clip and ship that, all right, last that, look, listen, I'm a huge fan of Kagi, that's the last first impression I want <laughs> of that, all right, pretty please, good news, some areas look like they had better lighting, than it did in the beta. I don't know if it's because it was just nighttime, so like you had better contrast. But in my opinion, this looked a lot cleaner than it did in the beta. Obviously less crisp, but that's just because of YouTube compression. It's gonna look more crisp in gameplay. Um, but this is nice to see that they're expanding the world, which is super, super, super nice. Okay. I think that's like most of the features that they revealed i do want to go on twitter and see what they've posted on their socials to talk about it okay awesome dope all right now here we go april 26th official release we hit i think it's 7 million plus pre-registrations which is fantastic this bro you I need music. I'm going to go insane. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Honkai Star Rail OST. I know they released it. No. Huge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Sweet. Dope. Okay. Create your exclusive ticket to win rare equipment as well as a PlayStation 5 and more. And then April 26th is the official release. Pre-installation begins on April 23rd. Oh, it looks like it's coming to the Epic Game Store. Interesting. iOS, Android, Windows. Interesting. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Claim up to 80 pulls in the 1.0 patch. Very nice. Very, very, very... This art is so cute. I wonder who the artist is. This is a new style. I haven't seen this. I, at least, I don't think I have. I really like this. Who's the artist? If anyone knows, please send it my way. Pretty, pretty, please. 
Pretty place. Wolf, thanks for subscribing. Big W's all around. Ava, thanks for stopping by. It is appreciated. Okay, is that... That's pretty. That is pretty. That is pretty. I'm checking if there's any other Twitter news. No? Okay, cool. Do we got any, any first impressions y'all had on the event? I do want to talk about lore and geek out about the lore because they, they dropped some bombs. Some of it was already discussed in the game, but they like expanded a little bit and went more in detail on a few things that I am pumped about. No console. I really thought it was coming out for... Uh... Wait, Shikasu, did you miss the announcement, brother? Hold on. No, it's coming to console, my dude. You might have missed it. I'm not baiting you, I promise. I promise, I promise. I'll, I'll keep it up on screen while we talk, that way people can see it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right here. Coming to PlayStation. Coming to PlayStation. Play yeah, 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 coming to PlayStation. This was the biggest announcement of the event. Biggest announcement. Huge. Please share it with people that way the community knows. Huge, huge. Your reaction is exactly why I was hyped for it. I'm going to cry. Yeah, 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 I feel you. Congratulations. But that's exactly why I was hyped for that. 1,000%. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. My hair is kind of crazy, but you know. Are you directly invited for the Weathering Waves closed beta? As far as I'm aware, no. I did not get that memo, but I mean, Weathering Waves would love to, would love to do that. Um, it's an English pronunciation. Japanese and Chinese have different pronunciations to for certain characters. Fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. Okay, fam. I'm going to geek out about the Lord. Listen, 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 listen. They dropped bombs, all right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Was it like in the beginning? They kind of went ham in the beginning, didn't they? Before they began, da 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 da. Oh my God, bro. Listen, I'm usually, I'm fine, I'm fine, listen. I, I don't know what it is, bro. I, I was good. Your boy was good, all right? Kafka did not get me. I, like, I ain't gonna lie. When I saw the trailer of your choice, okay? Uh, let me just get, let me just get this out of the way. All right, when I saw this, Honkai Star Rail trailer, I'm not gonna lie, all right? My knees buckled for a bit, like half a second, but I was like, no, she a little evil. Like, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, no, like, like be smart. All right. The time to wake up. I ain't going to lie. The voice actor really killed it. Okay. They hired a top tier voice actor. All right. Where is it? Where is it? Where? This is a trailer, by the way, not the actual story. Where is it? Where is it? Bro. I was fine. Like, yes, Kafka's hot. I was fine. Time to get up. I, like, that was hot, right? And, and my knees buckled for a bit. But I was good. I was chilling. I was A-okay, all right? But damn, they knew exactly what they were doing with this part in today's stream. They knew it. They, 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 they knew. They knew what they were doing with this part of the stream. Okay? They, they knew. Oh, bro. <clears throat> Look, all right. This shot, you got Blade right here with, with the cult. Damn. <laughs> Good. They knew exactly. Like, nobody was safe in this shot, all right? You got Blade over here on the right. And you got Kafka right here without the coat. Come on. Dude, that was, you know, you know, like, uh, yeah. Wow. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, they're cooking. They, they, they are cooking. They are cooking. Okay. 100%. 100%. Now the lore of this game is really exciting they it's always been but the concept of like every world has a different like faith system which is a path a philosophical concept right and based off of which philosoph philosophical concepts you believe in 
that is the path that you're most likely going to get attuned to to that specific aeon which is this hyper higher upper being bro that's sick but what's even more cool is how they went into explaining how in shun 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 Zhao? I'm, I'm butchering the name the th the second world we go to technically third if you count heard of space station um dude they originally believed a different path than the current one they're on which is the hunt so technically speaking a race or a world could have a history of switching different paths with different aeons you know is, did island just write island don't bro playstation playstation bro thank you for the raid it's appreciated or the uh as youtube says the live redirect it's a raid thank you for the raid bro it's appreciated omg it's an island x oh my god is that the island xd the guy that hosted the honkai fifth global anniversary live stream with the immaculate skincare routine and absolutely slays in a suit bro what omg i'm a huge fan that's actually not memes i was a fan before we became friends <laughs> that's funny that's not memes either dude that's effing hilarious man oh that is funny bro that is funny is that only on epic store for pc no it's also on windows uh direct client it looks like it looks like it looks like yes 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 the copy pasta is immaculate bro there were some other things that they went kind of crazy in it looks like it was hinted that we were going to encounter the stellarian hunters a ton but like no they made it seem like okay the stellarian hunters are going to be like this with the uh the astral express crew the main crew which is going to be exciting to see i just cause kafka but also blade and silver wolf i'm actually really pumped to interact with silver wolf a ton uh other stuff of the lore that was really dope this was dope and this is why i'm excited for this game this is why this is peak this is peak this is the main reason okay they're doing it they're making complex worlds with unique histories. This was hinted with Bellabog, right? But Bellabog was just humanity with some exceptions here and there, right? Dude, Sean Zhao has three major races with an original history of being uh, attuned to one path, one Aeon, and then switching halfway to the hunt, right? Bro, peak world building. That is what is going to help separate this game from the rest of the pack. I don't even mean turn-based games. I mean just Hoyoverse games, okay? This is what is going to make Star Rail inherently unique. Since this is a, you know, may our journey lead us starward type of game, exploring a huge universe, world building needs to be something you expand on and focus on. Because if not, it's going to be like any other Hoyoverse game. The fact that they're already doing this in one of like the beginning worlds is amazing. Amazing, amazing. And each like each, you know, either organization or race has a specific role that helps that world thrive or survive. You know, so. That's exciting. That is exciting. I'm a geek for world building. I love to see this, man. I love to see this. I really do. I also love to see that the humans of Shan Zhao are different than the humans of Bellabog. That's cool. That is dope. Jing Yuan. Congratulations, Honkai Star Rail, for being the only game that has General Jing Yuan. Congratulations. Is it Ju Yuan? Yuan? I keep saying Yuan. Is it Jing Yuan? I, I say Yuan, but I, I don't know if that's... I could be butchering it. Like... like it's call gang and be like, yo, I need you to like lecture the hell out of UD, okay? Because he, he's killing my favorite <laughs> character's name. But seriously, congratulations. Also, I know I said this earlier, but you put <laughs> congratulations, Honkai Star Rail, for being the only game 
that has. Keep skipping it. That has. Question mark. Hold on. The only game that has servo. Bro, Honkai Star Rail is the only game that has servo. Right? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ka uh, Blade? Blade? And Kafka. On top of Jing Yuan. Congratulations, Starro. That's one of your biggest selling points. <laughs> Honestly. Bro. Like, you... I, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. You know? Honkai has a stig. Yeah, I'm sorry. This Kafka clears. The stigmata Kafka. I'm sorry. You know? Not to say other games don't have their own versions of the characters. Yeah, sure. Okay, but like... I'm sorry. The Mafia, like, urban drip, bro, that is a weakness of mine. All right? D sorry. Not up for debate. You're, you're talking to a city kid that loves city fashion. Bro, she, like, oh, bro. <laughs> you know? Like, Blade, Jing Yuan. Uh, dude, congratulations, Star Rail. You're the only game that has that. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats, you know. Congrats, Starro. Your Himiko is alive. Please don't change that. <laughs> Please don't change that. I'm begging you. Bro, you know what's scary about Honkai, bro? One character is gonna die. It's just who. One character is going to die, and it's going to be one that you really like, okay? We know this. Honkai has done this in every Honkai title to date. In every Honkai title, at least one core character in the cast dies. Guaranteed. In every Honkai title. It is now only a matter of who is it going to be. You sure it's just one? I mean, like, for some, it's more, right? But we know at least one is going to die. And it's going to be a core character. The question is who? Cherish your characters while you still can. One is going to go. One is going to go. They are not scared to kill off a core gotcha, high rarity character. This is the Honkai team, okay? Like... March 7th? No, don't do that, bro. They, they won't do that. That's the poster child. That's the poster child, dude. That's the poster child. Someone will die. It's just a question of who. It's just a question of who, man. I am terrified. I'm just letting you know. Blade looks so cool. I'm glad Blade isn't coming out in the first patch because I kind of want to max idle on him. Not going to lie. I really do. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, okay. Now. This is a sponsored stream by Honkai Star Rail. Star Rail team is probably not going to be happy that I'm going to say this right now. Because they probably don't want me to bring this up. But I'm going to do this. Because there's a good chance the devs are probably going to watch the stream to make sure I didn't say anything dumb. And if not, you know, because it's sponsored. But I'm going to say this, fam. This is sponsored. The, the devs are watching. If there's anything you've ever wanted to say to the devs, now is your chance. Say it. Here's my question to you to spark a conversation. With Star Rail releasing, what is something you hope to either continue to see or to see in the future of the game? Whether that's a certain type of storytelling, story beat, a certain type of soundtrack you would really like. My big question is, is there a type of event you would like to see done for the community or with the community? Whether it's an IRL event or an in-game event, please share your thoughts right now in the chat pretty please if you're on vod squad odds are devs are probably going to pay more attention to the comments in the live chat because they might see the vod i don't know if they're watching right now um so if you're on vod squad leave a comment on the comment on this live vod stream thing 
Um, I probably shouldn't have said that because this is sponsored, but I do want them to see like y'all's feedback. So like, let's talk about this. What would you like to see like, you know, in the future of the game? What type of event would you like to see for the game? Whether it's an in-game event or like an IRL event or both. That's like my big thing. I, I'm a believer that community is like everything, right? And marketing. Community and marketing is like the lifeblood of a video game, in my opinion. And hot smoking characters, but they already got that unlocked, so we're good there. Um, what events do you want to see? You know? What events do you want to see? In game or in person? Let's do both. Let's do both. Keep custom relic. Yes, keep custom relic and also make a an improved relic system that lets us change the subsets, please. Please. I know I probably shouldn't say that, but for real, please. Begging you. It's nice that it's already a main stat change. That's already huge, but please, subsets too, please. You would be forever loved. Forever loved. All right? Ah, uh, pa 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 Don't kill Himiko. <laughs> oh, man. Custom, on, custom Relic on events too, please. That's a great feedback. I don't know if they will, but that would be nice. Pretty please. That would be very nice. Collab events with games, movie, series, and anime. Interesting. 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 Animated shorts. Honkai team. I know it's asking for a lot. I probably shouldn't say that during a stream. They're probably going to cook me for this. Listen, we're spoiled, okay? We, we've been following the Honkai series for a bit. Of, we are a little spoiled. You know... Trade offer. Okay, let's hear, hear me out. All right, trade offer. Trade offer. Trade offer. <laughs> okay, <They're, laughs> probably shouldn't say this. Trade offer. If we support your game enough, you know, if we support your game enough, j just consider. Con <laughs> I'm gonna get cooked so hard. <laughs> consider animated shorts. Just consider it. Consider it. All right. Not have brought that up on the stream. Uh, <laughs> but pretty please, we would love you so much if you did it, dude. We would love you so. Okay, let's change the topic. Let's change the topic. Anyways, anyways, what else would you like to see? <laughs> I'm too honest, bro. I'm too honest. What else would you like to see? What else would you like to see? Um. Oh, bro. Oh, dude. You know what I want to see? You're already doing it. Keep doing it. I feel like you have something very special with this game. Star Rail has something special that other games have a little bit of, but they haven't been going to hard on it to the extent Star Rail has been going. XPs. That, in my opinion, bro, I think XPs is the money maker. And the marketing, whoever, like, whoever said we need to go hard on the XPs for Star Rail, genius. Galaxy Brain. Because they've been going crazy hard. On the Star Rail XPs, bro. XP out all of, for uh, in case you don't know what that is, um, alternate parallel versions of a character from a different Hoyaverse game. They do this in all their games, but Star Rail already has a ton, and they're looking to probably do more. But dude, that is a money maker, and you will help convert a lot of characters from or players from different Hoyaverse games to check out Star Rail if you do it. So. Um, in my opinion, please, please, please do XP's pretty, please. You're already doing it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. But, but don't sacrifice original characters either. Like, like keep the original characters like Blade, Jing Yuen, um, keep them coming, please. Um, cause they are, you're killing it. You're killing it. But yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, ba, 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 ba. let me see. Let me see. Um... Ah, oh, da, 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 da. Any, any other type of events do you guys want to see? IRL. IRL events. Honkai team loves, and the Star Rail team loves to do IRL events from time to time. Not always, but time to time, right? Uh, what type of IRL runs would you be excited to actually go out and see? Probably shouldn't be talking about that on the stream, but I like it, like, bro, like, I might as well. You know, I can't help it. I want them to see stuff. Cafe event. I'm biased as hell. I'm barista, bro. I'm just saying. Whether you bring me in for it or you don't, I'm swiping for the coffee there. All right? Like, you'll see me there for a coffee shop event. But, like, I don't mean, like, 
like oh cool like you know buy our online car no 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 like like do like a cafe you know that would be dope dude i could help i could help run that i've trained and ran two different coffee shops throwing that out there um but even if it's not me like like the entire community would love that what other IRL events would you guys like to see what like like what would excite you to actually go out from your gamer hole and actually check out the event like japanese anime cafes that would be pretty dope star rail art book that would be pretty nice but i'm, I'm biased i just like art that's why i play these games let's be real anime care anime fans since it's what we like to do you know i want to see a real cosmic juggernaut on a rail line that's crazy that's whoa okay that is would be nice but that, that sounds crazy expensive you know official calm but they already do that okay but what would you want to see at the calm you know what like because every convention like they do different events you know like we had uh, like we did a ton of events at the la anime expo uh star Rail event what would you want to see at a convention booth you know like what would you want to do do you want to do like a special event where you play the game on stage do you want to have a competition do you want to have like you know a cosplay contest uh pic just pictures with cosplayers you know Co an orchestral concert that would be dope that would be dope i guess that depends on how much we support the game though right 100 percent. i mean we know kafka is gonna make him a good lord bro all right listen blade and kafka is gonna make him a lot of money like i can i can bro jing yuan blade kafka those three characters oh that th those are the breadwinners i think for <laughs> I, I mean i i really think uh i don't know what it is <laughs> the premonition i'm having you know um yeah anyways <clears throat> uh what else what else what else figurines more lifestyle bro Kafka. Figure no i mean uh well, figuring, yes. Yes. 100%. 100%. 100%. I am I'm not down bad for Kafka. I admit she's smoking hot and and <laughs> the more I'm exposed to Kafka, the worse it gets. But I'm not there yet. I'm not. Not yet. Not yet. That might change. That might change. That might change. Coatless Kafka did something, all right? The, you know what's the problem? It's like she it's She's dripped out. That's the problem. That's I'm, I'm I'm a sucker for drip. Oh, bro, it's the drip for me, dude. She like that's a weakness, bro. I like that is. If only she wasn't dripped out. If only drip is a weak. Like she got the sunglasses. Like, ugh, you know that. You're in denial. I'm not in denial. I know myself. I'm not there yet. All right. But I'm not going to deny the drip is definitely doing something. If only she wasn't dripped. If only I wouldn't be as, you know, tempted. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep that same energy when they release her official game. <laughs> Bro. That is the funniest live comment ever, bro. Oh, man. That is funny. That is funny. That is funny. Holy smokes. Oh. Oh, man. Dude. Well, figuring is a must, but Kafka figuring is a priority. No, Kafka figuring would be nice, I guess. You know, I, I, I would prefer... A Walt figurine, but you know, it's, I'm not complaining if a Kafka figurine were to drop, you know? Definitely not complaining, you know? <laughs> Definitely not. Anyways, anyways, IRL events. What would you like to see, fam? What would you like to see? What else? What else? Concert, conventions, um, KFC. That's an interesting one. Um, they do like their KFC. I think, I, I, I don't know who in the team likes KFC, but I have noticed. Bro, have merch accessible. Please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Have merch accessible. Pretty please. 
pretty, 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 please. I'm begging you. Begging. Begging, begging, begging. Por favor. Stop, I'm simping more for her. <laughs> oh, man. Album vinyl giveaways with concerts and meet and greets. Ooh. Okay. What type of meet and greets do you want to see? That's interesting. Album vinyl give oh, dude, an album vinyl would be nice. I don't know if that would sell, uh, but I would buy like instantly. But I'm a music geek, so I might be biased. But I like that sounds sick, you know? That sounds dope. Like with the devs, you mean? Voice actors meet and greet, dude. Voice actor cosplayer meet and greets would be sick. I could get so many autographs. You should get Alejandro to go. <laughs> Bro, dude, I'm just saying, you know, just throwing it out there. Uh, bro, get Alejandro to go and get um, Miao Zhang to go. Pretty please. Pretty please. I'm begging. Begging on my knees. Okay. Just saying. And 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 get Hanzo to go so I can get a second autograph. I already have one, but you know, uh, more would be nice. More would. I bought a, I bought a book for autographs. Uh, I got to I'm, I'm planning to fill that out. Hopefully. I gotta get an Island XD autograph. I'm trying to get like all of like my creator buddies, but also like, you know, other amazing people I respect in the industry. 100%. Alejandro, you need dad joke? Could I, bro, imagine the Can I show you my latest dad joke real quick? I'm pretty proud of this one. I'm really proud of this one. Hold on. No, no wait, don't leave yet. Don't leave. Hold on. Hold on. Real quick, real quick, real quick. We won't stay on this for long. I promise. I promise. Hold on, real quick. This one was good. This one was, no, wait, listen, don't leave. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. This one was good. This one was good. I promise, hold on, wait. Listen, this was, no, wait, don't leave. Don't leave, wait, 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 wait. I'll go back to story in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. Why is Kevin Kasana so strong? Because he's a cold-blooded soldier. Get it? he has Parvati genetics, so his body is cold, which means from a technical standpoint, he's cold-blooded. A warrior that's cold-blooded is ruthless. Hence, you know, a cold-blooded soldier. Cool joke, am I right? <laughs> Get it? Cool joke, cool joke. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, before you go, before you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then Alex was like, Alex, the guy that cosplays like Kalpis and like like Kevin and, and all that, right? He tweets and he's like, sir, this is physically painful. You're right. You're right. Guys, you're right. He had a point. I'm going to try to chill on the jokes. I know I'm basically on thin ice at this point. Get it? Chill with the jokes. I'm on thin ice at this point. Wait, wait, wait. About to give this guy the cold shoulder on God. No, don't do it, Alex. Don't be so cold hearted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we lost 45 people. No. <laughs> Oh, Widows, welcome to the fam. Thanks for becoming a member. See, Widows like that. Widows, my homie. Widows, my homie, dude. That's the okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. Anyways, going back to Star Rail. Going back to Star Rail. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I thought they were pretty good. I don't know. I thought that was some of my best work. I feel like me and Alejandro would kill it. I don't know. Find that out in the universe, you know? Find that out in the universe. And. and I know why we call you dad, you do. <laughs> you do, you truly is ultimate dad. Listen. Okay. Overall, I would like to say, just in general, I am very excited for this game. I cannot, God. Um, <clears throat> I cannot wait for this game. Jingyuan, the whole cast. Speaking of IRL events, besides everything we've talked about, in-game events. What type of in-game gameplay events do you want to see? 
Tomorrow, Honkai Carnival. Is, is, is Honkai Carnival tomorrow? Bro, this is a packed week. Oh my. You, you guys don't even know why it's so packed. Dude, I've had so much. Like, things to coordinate off camera. You have no idea. They, these two weeks have been insane. It has been ridiculous, bro. Like, in a good way. It's a good problem to have, right? I'd much rather that than, like, it just be dry and I have nothing to do. But, no. It, it, it is crazy. It is. Events that would stay, because taking away fun events is annoying. I agree. That's why I'm excited for Simulated Universe. Because having that right out the gate is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Hear me out. You know what I'm very excited for in this game? More so than any other game? Kind of because of Kafka. But that's besides the point. Skins. Bro. I think Star Rail can do skins better than any game. I do. I'm not just saying that. Hear, hear me out. Skins, bro. Listen. Hear me out. Okay? This is a game that goes to different worlds. Worlds. You know what that means? I'm a fashion geek, bro. The fashion styles are endless. The fashion possibilities are endless, bro. Kafka looks this good. Kafka looks this good. On release, imagine a skin. Imagine the drip that is going to be released. With this game. In the future. I don't know when they're going to do skins. I hope they're going to do skins. I'm just saying. Oh my lord. Bro. Im why, is it, why is UD always using Kafka? Listen. I am using Kafka. Because she is one of the most dripped out characters in the game. That's a fact. Like, like yes, yeah, she's smoking hot. But also she is like literally dripped out of her mind. You know what I mean? By the way, I would also like to say Kafka's a perfect example that you don't need to have much exposed to look good. You just need good fashion. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kafka's barely exposed here, but damn, she's dripped out. You know what I mean? Like, look at Silver Wolf. You know what I'm saying? Bro, look at Silver Wolf. Look at the drip. Look at the jacket. The, the drip potential in this game? Summer skin Kafka, you did eh. Like, that'll be cool. I'm sure I'll make a ton of money and my entire community will be immensely down bad. But personally, I my knees go weak for, for drip skins. Drip skins is always what... That's what gets me, dude. That's what gets me. I'm gonna be real, all right? And like, dude, there's endless possibilities with the multiple worlds that we're gonna go to. Talking about fashion, I love Silver Wolf. Dude, her fashion is insane. The drip goes so dang hard. So damn hard, dude. Like, br I want these glasses in real life. Badly. I had something similar called... You know what these remind me of? I'm a fashion geek. Hold on, let me geek out. M2 Oakley's. One of my favorite pair of sunglasses. I lost these. I've been so sad since I lost this pair. Because they were hella expensive. I moved a lot of my life growing up. Bro. M2 Oakley's, all right? Or like the encoder, the encoder collection by Oakley's as well. Tell me not. Tell me not. I, like, I could geek out about fashion all day. They either look like encoders or they look like M2's. Tell me not, fam. Right? You, you see it? You, you see what I mean? Bro, so sad I lost that pair. I got to get it back. Got to get it back. Got to get it back. It is a necessity. Necessity, necessity. If it will be PvP, it can be an esport game, which would be very good. I, I, no, I disagree. Personally. Personally. I don't want PvP. Do not. No. I, I, but that's me. That's me. I'm an advocate against PvP and gotcha. Personally. Um, there's only one way I would want PvP in this game. Only one way. Only one way. It's got to be preset teams. And you can't use your units. You have to use the units they provide to you. That's the only way. 
That's the only way I will allow it. Besides that, please no. Please no. Leaderboards? I don't mind leaderboards. Leaderboards is just like, like, I could care less for that. That's fine. I'd be down for leaderboards. That's fine. Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't advocate for it, but like, I wouldn't mind it. Um, but the only way I, I'd be happy with PvP is if like it was preset characters. You know? I, I, I don't think it's necessary. Especially because this game is focusing on its story and like it's RPG, like turn-based, like fantasy elements, right? So I, I don't think if they spread themselves too thin, it might not be good. You gotta, gotta build yourself up. You gotta build yourself up, you know? <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think that is about it now if y'all can do me a huge favor so we can be able to do more giveaways in the future and more events for the community if y'all even if you've clicked already click it again click this link in the chat i think i'm gonna end the stream there because it, er it is early in the morning pops has to work and i don't want to you know bother him right now um i do want to have a honkai star rail lore stream before release and then a few after release. Ooh, let, real quick, before I end, um, let me talk about... Oh, we gotta have a discussion about this, guys. I gotta have a discussion about this. I'm not gonna go deep in depth right now. I'll touch base. We're gonna have to have a super in-depth, real conversation. It's coming soon. I'm gonna have to make a decision. Ugh, I don't wanna do it. I don't know what to pick either. Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna listen. <clears throat> Star Rail releases in a month. Star Rail releases in a month. One month. You know, that is very soon. A month flies, unless you're in school. <laughs> but besides that, a month flies. Okay. Here's my plan for content. When Star Rail initially releases, I am going to go heavier on Star Rail content for its release. Okay? Because I've been waiting for this game to come out. It is going to be a big focus initially. And then we'll go back to like balancing out the multiple games that we cover. Um, I want to do, I want to focus on the story. I want to focus on having lore discussions and I want to have like community events um, and, and art contests and all that type of stuff uh, is the goal with the content of Star Rail. Um, besides that, with Star Rail coming out, the release of Star Rail is the addition of a new live updating game. I already am addicted and in love in a healthy way um, to Star Rail. Because of this, it is going to be most likely a main game on the channel. Because of this, I'm going to have to make the executive decision as to which games are going to... Like, Star Rail is going to get mo more coverage in the beginning, but I'm talking like five months down the road or three months down the road, right? Like how the balance is going to go, we're going to have to have a stream discussion and decide as a community what we end up doing and how we're going to balance out the ratio of content on this channel. Because realistically, I can't cover all the games I'm covering now on top of Star Rail, on top of other titles coming out in the future. That's it. That's, just wanted to touch base on that. We'll, we'll go in depth on that discussion in a future stream. Um, but yeah, it, it does mean that like I'm going to be going lighter on content on other titles because there's a new title to cover. You know, and there's, I'm only human. I can only cover so much, right? Part of the reason why I'm going to be hiring here pretty soon um, is because with an editor, I'll be able to stream more and cover more content. But yeah, just, just throwing that out there, man. Throwing that out there. Um, Star Rail is perfect for you. You can play and talk at the same time. True. True. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, I want to go super in-depth on that in a in a future stream before Star Rail releases. Because I, I want to set the expectation. But just know Star Rail will most likely be a main game 
on this channel. I'm so excited for this game. It's not just because I'm sponsored. I was saying this before the game even dropped in beta. Like, everything about this concept, I adore. I gush about this, you know? Um, yeah. If there's any content you would like to see for Star Rail, let me know in the comments if you're on VOD Squad. Right now, what content do you guys want to see for Star Rail? Specifically, like just Star Rail. Like, if you, if you could be like, okay, I know UD likes to do this. This is what I want to see from him. On this. this is what would excite me to see on this channel. Definitely story focus, right? Just play the game? Well, yeah, but it's like, we do that with everything. Trash can lore talking. Y'all really want to see trash lore. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Lore? Lore? I'm happy a lot of you guys are saying lore. That makes me excited because I like to geek out about the lore. I always get worried that like I get too geeky with it. Um, I, I, you know, and, and I like to crackpot. That's my biggest thing. Just because I crackpot doesn't mean I'm right or I think this is how the story is going to go. I just like to make up crazy concepts. I do. I do, I do, I do. Drip appreciation. Fashion discussions. Character drip to your list. Dude, that's exciting. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. That is sick. Yeah. Oh, music breakdowns. Music breakdowns are coming back to the channel. They are. I would just like to, for those that don't know, I used to do a ton of music breakdowns. I do them here and there now, but I don't do it as much as I used to. Part of the reason why, they take a long time to make. They do a lot of editing. It's a lot of footage to go through. And it's just on top of everything else that I got to do and stream, right? It's hard. When I was originally making music breakdowns, I wasn't streaming. I was just making videos and that's it. When you split streaming and videos, it ate up a lot of my time. So um, with an editor though, that's going to be able to give me the time I need to actually edit music breakdown videos on my own. So that's going to be exciting. That's going to be pretty dope. Um, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lead us <clears throat> so I'm very excited for that. Come on, stand over here. There's so many PVs you don't watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we'll, we'll get to those. We'll get to those. 1,000%. Hi, everyone. I'm Skylar. Pa, 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 pa. Would, you, would you guys be cool? I don't want to do this in the beginning of Star Rail because I want to focus on Star Rail lore. But would you be cool like after a month or two? We had... Hoyoverse discussions. Like, like, like full on Hoyoverse discussion streams. I'm talking Genshin, Star Rail, all the Hoyoverse titles in like a single stream series. And we like just like multiversal discuss about the lore and just crack pot. Would that be cool? Yeah. I don't want to do it in the beginning though. I want Star Rail to be the focus. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, I want to like focus on that story and get that down because that's going to take some time. Um, and, and I want to be caught up in all my other stuff. So cool. Cool, 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 cool. I want to oh, see UD molding in Abyss. It takes a lot for me to mold. I'm not going to lie. Animal bosses make me mold. I don't know why. Something about animal bosses drives me nuts. But besides that, I don't really tilt. I get excited for hard challenges. I, I even like to handicap myself, which is weird, but I do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. In I not too sure. Not too sure. Music breakdowns. Simulated universe. Hi, okay. Liang, and I voiced Don Hung in lore. Star I'm excited with how Don many of you guys are saying lore. That's exciting. That gives me a lot of hope. Past? A lot, a lot, a lot Who of hope. Now I'm going to be real with you. Am I going to do theory videos? No. No, I'm not. That's right. Not gonna do it. I'll do like theory discussions. I don't mind discussing theories on stream, right? But am I gonna do videos? Oh, hell no. I'll do lore videos, like discuss lore topics. Hell yeah. But theory videos? Oh, hell no. Bro, do you know how hard it is to organize a theory? It's so much easier to just discuss it live, like a conversation, to organize and present it in a presentation style in a video? Oh, no. Nope, don't got the time for that, bro. You gotta be a lore dedicated channel, which is why I'm going to promote my good friend, Island XD, who will be covering the, sh the, the game on release and throughout its lifespan, okay? He's very excited for it, and he's a huge lore geek and focuses on theory videos a lot, so 
I'm just saying. Why do you think I like talking to him so much? That way, when you guys want theory videos from me, I can just be like, go to Island. <laughs> you, he, he gives me free therapy. Do you guys know that? Because sometimes there's theories I want to talk about, but I don't want to make a video on it because that's so much work. So I'm just like, bro, Island, what do you think about this? Can you like make a theory on this? And he'll be like, yeah, and I can add this to it too, and like, and and do this, 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 and then he just like goes crazy with it, right? And I'm just like, oh yes, it's so nice when someone does content that you want to do but don't have time to do. It's just like this, like, like yes, you know what I mean? I don't know. That might be like my creative geek inside of me. For I was an island geek, like fanboy before we became friends. So. Yeah. Explore. Yeah, it's very hard to organize in a presentation style. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Hello, everyone. I'm yes. Court, and I voice yes. 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 In Hong Kai Star Rail. As okay. On the Astral Express. Is there anything else I wanna I wanna cover? From one world to the next. Humu, humu. I'm looking forward to being at the forefront of future adventures with oh, the Trailblazers. Oh. Oh. Last thing. Last May thing I'll say. Journey lead I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Deciding. I may be going to New York City to visit um, and do a Dream Team Fam community meetup there in New York City, in New York, with March giveaway. Still planning out the details. Um, that's all I can say. Very excited. And uh, yeah, probably end of April. Probably. Most likely. That might change. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, man. Yeah, 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 sing. Welcome back to the fam for 11 months. It's appreciated, Luke. Thank you for the super. Is it just me? Or did the devs forget about a character named Pella? She has no involvement in the story, side quest, or basically anything. Wait, what? No, she had a huge side quest. And I don't want to spoil. But she did have a pretty good side quest in, uh, in the beta. She might be a character that gets more expansion in the future, most likely. Most likely, most likely. They're doing that for a few characters. Like, Blade doesn't... Like, he's, like, appears... But he doesn't really get expanded on like until later on in the story. Um, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Uh if I missed any supers. Uh April 26th is March 7th on Chinese lunar calendar. Yep. And also they kind of spoiled the release date on the iOS app store. Just saying. That was a thing. Not sure if I was allowed to say that here, but you know. Uh Question, uh, I'm keeping myself, blah, 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 trash can lore is peak fiction. I think we're good. Cool. Well, fam, I'm going to end on a Honkai Star Rail trailer. On that note, I am going to end the stream. Thank you all for joining. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, let the devs know if there's anything you want them to see on the comments if you're on VOD Squad. Join the Discord, follow on Twitter. This stream is also sponsored by... Uh, Lucio Sonador, this YouTube channel right here. So, uh, you know, just cool projects coming soon that I'm helping Lucio work on on this channel. Stay tuned. And uh, yeah, this is love you. Adios, sign off. Special thank you to the Honkai Star Rail team. Thank you so, so, so much for sponsoring this. Hopefully we can work together for future collaborations and hopefully we can do more community events because that would be pretty dope. I like to be more community focused and... Uh, Yes. Adios. Sign out. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Love you. Doses. Bye-bye. Gonna cancel my membership soon for Lucio. The audacity. The audacity. Camo is really, bro, you really came into my chat. I was like, I'm going to cancel my membership soon so I can get a membership for Lucio and say, bro. Yep. Lucio's got no videos and he's got 2.4K subscribers. You know how long it took me to get 500 subscribers? It took me years, all right, of posting videos. Dude, uh, he hasn't done anything. He took a selfie. The audacity. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me end on a Star Wars trailer. Hold on, hold on. I'll see y'all soon. Adios.
I'm so excited for Star Rail, bro. Dude. Literally cannot wait. Oh my god, Star Rail is so hot. Play.